Hi guys, and welcome to the stream. Hello, 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 Thorn. <laughs> What's up, my man? <laughs> How you doing? Welcome to the stream, guys. It's a new day in Rust. It's a new update, and uh, today we are doing hardcore Rust mode. Dude, I'm excited about this one. Let's fucking do this shit. Actually, you know what? Let's fucking go to the, um, now that I'm looking at this, let me put on the Be Right Back screen really quick, just in case I don't, you know, I didn't, oh, fuck. Hang on. <laughs> thank you, dude. <laughs> I appreciate it. I just got murdered. I just got murdered. Thorn said, thank you, Meat Man. Appreciate it, dude. The early dono in the stream. Let's fucking go, man. Uh, let's look at the news. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm not going to expose anything. Let's bring you back. Hardcore mode, guys. A major part of Rust is its brutal nature and ruthless PvP. So, um, wait, can I, can I scroll this shit? Or, okay, yeah, here we go. So, um, they've added local chat within a 100 meter range, which means, okay, so global chat's completely turned off now. But you can local chat if you're, like, close, right? So just in case somebody's not using voice, you can actually still speak, like, in-game. But you, the global's off. There's no more, like, talking shit, right? Uh, limit of five sleeping bags and in-game change log, top left of inventory. I don't know what that means. We'll figure that out. They don't have a compass system anymore. There's no contact system. Uh, you're not crawling anymore. Global chat, like I said, is disabled. Rust Plus is disabled. The team system um, doesn't work anymore. There is no map, there is no MLRS, and there is no safe zone, so you can fucking fight at Outpost, guys. This is going to be ridiculous. Other than that, there's the new Furnace UI. Um, uh, there's a storage buff, so large wooden boxes and small boxes have more storage now. Um, the large wooden box... Uh, yeah, so today we've increased the small wooden storage capacity to 18 from 12, which is crazy. And the large wooden box to 48 from 30. That's fucking insane, dude. That's so great. Um, some other updates here, but uh, nothing that really applies to us. This is, uh, like I said, we're doing the hardcore mode. And uh, let's, you know, let's fucking get into it. You know, let's fucking do it. Russian Raccoon, dude, welcome to the stream, man. CG, my boy, how you doing? He said, yo, I don't watch Hutch anymore because of the village and some other stuff that happened. Oh, I hope everything's okay, dude. I don't know what happened, but uh, I hope everything's okay. Robert said, uh, I'm going to bed because I got to work in the morning, but good luck in the raids. And I hope you get a good YouTube video and a uh, good RNG. Talk to you later, boss. Dude, thank you so much for the dono. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by the stream, as always, man. It's, a, it's always a pleasure. Let's fucking do this shit, man. Hey, have a good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Let's do this shit. Here we go. Ah. Okay, so I do have s sort of a plan here. I do see oil rig. I want to first off, I'm trying to check map as you guys can see, but it just doesn't exist anymore. I gotta get over that. I've just gotta get over that. One tip that I received from Hutch, the only tip I have received about hardcore mode is make sure you have enough cloth before laying down a base because it'll be impossible to find your base. I think that's good advice. Um, what, I really, what I would really like to do is live near a fishing village. Um, I do see Smoil over there, which is dope. Uh, obviously, we don't know where any monuments are. We have to kind of find everything as we go. Hi, man. Yo, 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 yo. What up, dude? How's your, uh, how's, how's hardcore going for you? <laughs> yeah? You look like you're doing okay. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> well, I just started, man. I just started, so, uh, yeah, wish me luck. Can I take this horse? Can I have it? You're not going to murder me as I leave? <laughs> Thanks, dude. Thank you, man. Hey, have a good wife. <laughs> Hard Hello. Hardcore my ass. Hello? What a beautiful horse. Thanks, dude. I just got it for frizzle, as the young kids say. What? Yeah. I have heard, like, three kids say that. I have heard three kids say that as well. That... What? Are they the same kids? Maybe, no dude. Way. That's so fucking insane. Truly. Hey, dude. Have a good wipe. You too. Thanks, dog. 
Hey, we're out here making friends. You know, we're out here making friends. <sighs> Anyways, let's let's start this thing off with, I guess, collecting a little bit of barrels, you know? Maybe we'll get a paddle. Give me a fucking paddle. Like, please give me a paddle. That would be insane if I fucking got one, like, right off the bat, right? No one steal my horse, please. I honestly feel like my horse is about to get stolen. Alright. Whatevs, dog, whatevs. Any, uh... Wow, we got water buckets. And we have... A barricade. <laughs> CJ says, what the fuck? I don't say that, LO, and every time... Everything is all good. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> what, CJ? B-Sings. What up, man? <laughs> How are you? Hey, man, I thought of you as I wrote the description of this video. I don't know if you noticed. I'm assuming you did since you're here, like, super freaking early and you're never here this early. Um, but, yeah, yeah, I was exactly, I, you know, I thought exactly of you when I wrote the description. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, B-Sings. Welcome, my friends. Fry, are you here? Are you, uh, uh. Hardcore mode, it's too fucking, it's too dangerous for me. I think my horse is going to be okay over there just for a second. I would like to find a tool crate. Like, our tool crate's disabled. Rust, I want to be a paddler right now. Oh my gosh, dude. Uh, we're gonna go grind this rope over. Oh yeah, okay, we just got a sewing kit too. Perfect. That's that's what I'm looking for. Um, you know, I'm looking for cloth components, and I think I see a fucking supermarket over here, dude. I do see a supermarket over here. That's that's so dope. Uh, Tim Church, dude, thank you for the fucking donation, <laughs> dude. You donated three dollars through super chat, man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Holy fuck. <laughs> That's dope. That's dope as shit. Uh, two, two early donations, man. Let's fucking go, man. <laughs> thanks, for <sh> thanks for showing the love, man. I appreciate having you guys in the stream. And uh, I, hope I, I hope I can spawn some content from this, uh, you know, hardcore adventure. Nothing is guaranteed. That's for damn sure. Nothing's guaranteed. Um, I do see runners over here. Oh yeah, there's Hazzy kids. There's Hazzy kids. Yep, I'm leaving. We're going back to harbor. Okay, I can't do it. And hopefully this is a harbor where I can park. I can park my horse in front of the gate so I can get a you know fast getaway. I need to just go grind for cloth. Okay, that's that's the goal right now. Okay. And uh, then we're gonna head inland. Well, you know what? We're actually gonna we're gonna run the coast and hopefully try to find a a fishing village. I see a crate right there. And this is the fish. This is the um, harbor where I can park the horse right here. Okay, so just in case you guys don't know, you can get on your horse through the fucking fence. Okay. I don't think a lot of people know that, dude. But I use that all the fucking time. Okay, let's get over here. Beasting says, "I just saw the description. I love it, my dude." <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> you coined the term, dude. Cloth first. See, dude, you can get on your horse right here and get the fuck away. So it just gives you an option to, to leave, right? I'm going to start making uh, bandages right off the bat. Maybe hit this barrel. Okay, mi miss every shot. Miss every shot. Okay, we're whipping. And uh, I would save some rope normally and maybe try to go to outpost. But again... There might, I might have just saw somebody through the crack, dude. B-Sings! <laughs> dude! Thank you, man. <laughs> B-Sings donated $10 through fucking... Super sticker? You super chatted? You super sticker. <laughs> Thanks, dude. You guys are fucking awesome, man. Appreciate it. I hear some bow dudes over there. That's not good. We got cloth, guys. We, we, we got cloth. Let me make a bag. And uh, I need to make it. What the fuck is this right here, dude? What is this monument? 
Is that... That's train. Is that fucking train? Yeah, that's train. Let's get the fuck out of here, dude. I am gonna grab this crate, though. We need to be grabbing, uh... We need to be grabbing crates. I have no idea what this day is gonna bring me. I just have no idea, and I'm sorry if I keep hitting the, uh... The map button. I'm gonna have to break that habit, you know? I am gonna have to break that habit. Um... It's about to be nighttime. I see a satellite dish over here. I see a harbor. Dude, this is kind of... Oh, fuck! A scientist! Okay. This is kind of... Oh, my God, dude. How are people living like that, dude? How are people living like that right now, you know? Okay. The thing about this hardcore mode, guys, is I am starting eight hours later than anybody else right now. So, um... There is that, you know? Let's get past this base, okay? They know something, you know? They know something. If they're flourishing like that, dude, they know something, okay? I think living near... Oh, fuck, a train, dude. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. So the train is coming this way right now, okay? I'm hiding behind this bush so that fucking uh, base doesn't see me. And there's a fucking chair here. That's so dope. Oh my god, they're building right now, dude. I wish I could take that. I wish I could take that, dude. But I, you know what? I'm going to lay back here because I'm kind of digging this area, to be honest. I see I see a big base, which, which gives me confidence that this might be a good area. This is so strange not having a map, man. CYZ, dude, <laughs> welcome to the stream, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we're doing this hardcore shit, my friends. We're doing this hardcore shit. Welcome to the stream. If you're here right now and you haven't already, please make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out. If uh, if you're a future viewer stopping by the stream, what up, dog? What, what up, future guy? <sighs> this is Past Rise. What up, man? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> This is my first attempt at, uh, Hardcore Rust, guys. And, uh, I think either way, I might be just living here, you know? I think this, I think it's a good idea. I don't know. Maybe I return to my spawn, dude. Maybe that's the play. The problem is I just lost the X. Which I'm not a fan of. Guys, thank you so much for the fucking donation still, like... That's just so fucking amazing of you guys. Thank you so much. I think I see a fucking oil refinery right there. Which, if that is an oil refinery... I am gonna utilize it. I see torch lights on at that at that massive base. I can't bring this tree down, by the way. I can't. I need to be careful. All right. Uh, my question is, can I hit this? Can I hit this cactus with a rock? I can. Good, because I need some sort of food. Because I'm gonna be farming here, and uh, well, farming makes you hungry. So I need some sort of sustenance as to not die, right? And I don't really want to kill my horse. Um, something I'm noticing right now is my rock has no durability. What is that? What is that? Holy shit. I guess I have hit a few barrels and shit with it. Um, we need to find stone. I'm, I guess I'm kind of fucked right now. Let's just run the coast. Um, try to find a safe zone. I. There is no safe zone, by the way. There is no safe zone. We can go to Fishing Village, but we can still die, right? Um, but I just want the accessibility to buy a boat. Um, I like this area, man. A living next to a satellite dish is big. Um, and there's Train Yard right there, too, which is a red card, you know? Which will get us to oil, and some oil is close as well. So I, I think, like, this might be the play, dude. 
Maybe not like, maybe not like actually on the water, because I think a lot of people are gonna be doing that. I think a lot of people are gonna get raided, dude. V Sync says no problem, man. A couple bucks to support the homie Akuna Matata. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Means no worries for the rest of your days. A problem-free philosophy. Kuna Matata. I think I'm gonna stop right here and get a few trees. Uh, this looks like decay, maybe, already. What do we got here? Nothing. Hmm. I mean, do I take this over? <laughs> what do we got? I'm gonna turn on my light for a second. Yeah, this is very weird. It, it, it's already gotten raided. I'm out of here. That has been raided too. Like, people are already raiding people. That's kind of terrifying. ZYZ says, wait, so you can only spawn on a bag five times, but still spawn on the beach? Or are you, are you done after five deaths? No. So you only have five respawns. You only have five bags to place down. You can't place down any more any more bags than five, right? So there's no like laying a hundred bags around an area, right? You gotta kinda be strategic as to where you place your bags. Um, I placed one close to this area because I think this is where I wanna live. Um, you know, was that the right decision at the moment? Maybe not, I placed it right next to a massive base over there, which I'm, I would have to travel pretty far. If I died right now, I'd have to travel pretty far to get back over here. And I also wouldn't have a horse, you know? So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make, oh shit, dude, yeah. I'm gonna make a bow even though I can't make any arrows at the moment. And then, um, we are just gonna wait. I, I wanna keep farming trees, but the problem is I need stone. And uh, I have to get stone. I can't farm anymore because my uh, my rock's gonna break, right? So unless I turn this light on right now and I find a stone node, sulfur metal, of course, more wood. This is dangerous. What I'm doing, by the way, turning on my light. This is a uh, this is not recommended. <laughs> <laughs> to you newer players, not recommended to do this, okay? If we're just getting started, not recommended. Uh, but we got we got the moves, okay? So if I get if I get shot at or something, we're just gonna juke him out and escape without uh, any incident, you know? There's just no stone, by the way. There's just no stone. There should be some stone here, but there's not. It, it's either getting massively farmed or, uh, yeah, I don't know. We, we gotta go back to the horse. Turn my light off. It should be daytime here soon. Uh, good thing, bad thing, you know, I don't really know. Tim Church says, so it's much harder to play with a team as well. Yes, because there is no team UI. You can't even tell who your teammates are, right? Let me open this uh, can of unsponsored carbonated water. <sighs> nice. Rise, I'm headed to bed, but I wanted to say hi and drop a like on my way out, dude. Private Ryan, man, I appreciate you stopping in, dude. Thank you for uh, coming by the stream and dropping that like. You know that shit helps me out, man. I appreciate that so, so very, very much. Uh, sleep well, brother. Yeah, there's infinite respawns. There's, infi there's infinite respawns, but you only have five bags. Yeah. It works the same. There's still timers and everything, but you only have five bags. That's all. Oops, didn't want to do that. And I have no idea where I put my horse. <laughs> I hear him, I hear him. Where are you, buddy? Over here? There you are. Okay, we are going to live here somewhere, okay? I'm getting chased by an animal. Good thing I have a horse. I also do have a building plan so I can lay down a foundation.
And uh, the interesting thing I'm noticing so far is zero boats. I haven't seen a boat until I start saying I haven't seen a boat. And then the boats just show up out of nowhere. Should I take one? I should take a boat, right? Yo, dude, are you online? Yeah, what's up? Can I give you this horse for one of those boats? Sure, you go ahead. How's hardcore treating you so far, dude? Terrific. <laughs> I mean, you got that base down so far. It looks like you're doing pretty good. All right, brother. Thank you. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Oh my god, there's a dude right there in a boat, dude! God. Okay, I, I'm getting shot at by a bow. Can I not right now? <laughs> This is how I'll find my fishing village, okay? By the way, this is how I'll find my fishing village. I have to, I, I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna have to stop driving. I, I gotta, I gotta pull up to one of these rafts and stop driving because I have to find a red barrel. Or I'm gonna be fucking stuck out here, okay? And I still don't have, I still don't have a melee. So I might have just fucked myself. I might have to go back to the shore. What is this, a red barrel? Red barrel, red, I can't tell, you know? I just can't tell. Okay. This is not, um... Is that a red barrel? <laughs> I think it is, man. Oh, now I'm too cold. Okay, toolboxes. Th this is huge. These are huge. Please give me a tool. Okay. Okay, diving fins. I'm good with that. I'm good with diving fins. Uh, I do need a tool, though. So, like, Russ, you have to work with me here. I c you can't, you, like, you can't be fucking with me right now. We're going to back up to this tool crate. I am only wearing two pieces of clothing. Ah, oh, fucking salvage cleaver, dog. Let's go, man. Let's fucking go, dude. Uh, so now the thing is, guys, now we have the ability to hit things, right? How long can we survive with the things we're going to hit? Because oh, there is no safe zone. I have no safety. So that's, that's a thing that's so strange about this mode is there is nowhere to be safe like <sighs> there is no safety you know and I gotta flip hopefully flip my boat back around all right that's hardcore <laughs> that's fucking hardcore dude I would love a scuba tank. Some arrows, okay, perfect. That's good, we can defend ourselves. I need some red barrels to start spawning though, man. I really I, I really do. I think I see one over here. We have to be grabbing these, man. I only have eight low grade and uh, I'm starving. So there is also that. Man, I can't even look at the map to see if there's any rivers or anything, man. This is just so, this is crazy. It's crazy that I don't have a map. It really is just crazy. Okay, all right.
And we got a paddle as well. That's just so, so dope. Okay. There is there is no map. You you see me checking map because I'm just used to trying to check map. <laughs> so you see me doing this. There there is no map. There is zero map. That that key is just binded. That key is just binded, so there's nothing. I'm not gonna like take it off. I just gotta get out of the habit of just checking the map now. <laughs> you know? I think you see a fishing village right there, dude. Oh shit, man. Oh shit, dude. It sure is a fishing village. Do I go buy a scuba tank? That is the question. I don't really know, dude. And I don't think driving up to it is the play, either. Um... Because it is not a safe zone, right? So maybe we go live over here on this side. This is everything I want, though. You know, a safe zone. Not a safe zone. We got a fishing village so we can buy a boat. We got Smoil. We got, uh, we got all this. We got a green card monument. We just got a fucking pickaxe. Let's fucking go, dude. That's so helpful. Uh, we got a dude on the boat. We got a few dudes on the boat, dude. I'm going to the fucking shore. I think they live there, and I'm okay. But, uh, thanks, but no thanks. It looks chill over here, man. It looks chill. I'm going to go ahead and make a hatchet, okay? And, uh, I'm going to make a bag and a stash. That's how we're going to play this because it is hardcore mode. Um, I think we're gonna live here, okay? I think that's what we're gonna do. I think that is the place. Should we live out of boat base? I don't know if we should live out of a boat base, dude. I gotta start clearing out room for shit, you know? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't take that stuff. I don't need it. I thought I saw some more stone over here. I'm not gonna expose myself to the space though, which I think they're right there, man. They are over there. Yeah, I'm going the fuck back over here. Home is where you make it. <laughs> yep, that's for damn sure. What am I seeing right there? What is that? Is that abandoned military? Oh shit, dude. No way. Wait, what is this? It is abandoned. Oh fuck. Dude, this might be the place, dude. This might This might be the actual fucking place to live, dude. I oh, don't know. I need to start getting trees. I need to start getting trees. Do I have space? Fuck no, dude. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna heal all the way up. Uh, we're gonna go murder this horse for food, okay? The horse has to die. Unless, of course... No, I can't kill the wolf. Yep, the horse has to die. Start crafting a... Can I craft a fire? Yes, 
as I can. Can't fire. Space Jam Drizzy says, this is my first time on your channel, but you seem chill, so I subbed up. Hey, dude. I fucking appreciate that, man. Thank you so, so much. The fuck is that wolf running from, dude? Can I play something here, dude? Too close to abandoned. Oh, no. Okay, so we can't live right here because we are too close to abandoned. We can mine some stuff, though. Can I place a campfire? No, I can't do that either. I'm dropping his flesh. Boom. All right, he's gone. Thank you for your sacrifice, dear, dear friend. Uh, I'm going to grab a few trees and then get the fuck out of here. Uh, we are next to a monument. Okay? We can't build here either. So, which means I can't place a bag. I don't think this is going to be a monument. A lot of people are going to be running on hardcore. Uh, I may also be wrong. So... I need to be very careful about the wolves, to be honest, um, because I need to get rid of something here. Uh, I have no way of like laying down foundation here either. You always talking like you know some dude can this wolf just fuck off seriously man just keep doing circles around me you know you know the X is just gonna rotate around all the way, all the way over here Oh my gosh, dude, these X's are so dumb. I gotta keep, gotta run around, you know, I gotta run around the tree. You know, whatever. Whatever, dude, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. It's like, that's hardcore, you know, this is hardcore mode, right? So fucking hardcore. And this wolf is still gonna pester me. <laughs> Question is, when can I start building? How far away do I have to get? Because I would like to live in this area. Um, you know, I don't even know how close I am to, okay, there's buildings right here, right? Okay. So I'm going to go up a ways. There's a wooden shack right there. see a little crevice right here which I might end up calling my first home right we can see abandoned military right here dude that's gonna be big if I can lay a bag right here right we're still close okay we're still too close okay that's fine this is not close okay so this is perfect man Now two out of five bags. You see that down in the bottom left-hand corner or the bottom center corner? Bottom center, I'm a fucking idiot. Abandoned. Mill. Abandoned mill. And I am going to start putting my wood in here, okay? Wood. My scrap, right? My important shit. I may as well put the fuses and... Um, there's some more wood. Okay. Bury that. Make one more. And this one I'm going to put cloth.
Wow, look at the new UI. Isn't that crazy? Okay, cool. Let that cook. I'm gonna put most of my cloth there, right? Um, the springs, the pipe, and the stone, okay? Now, I have to remember where this is, too. How am I gonna do that? Well, I can see abandoned military right there, right? That's all I gotta do. I gotta be able to find that. I live next to the coast. Also, there's the sun, so the sun sets in the east. What, rises in the east, sets in the west? Dude, am I dumb? Rises in the east, sets in the west, right? Can somebody help me here? I'm, I'm fumbling. I'm fumbling basic knowledge. Food in the stomach, that's great. I don't know why we have so much water, but... Nice, 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 nice. Okay. I feel like I just heard a footstep other than mine, dude, and I don't like that. Look at this. Okay, this is how we're going to identify where our base is, dude. All we have to do is find military. Right? All we have to do is find military. We have two bags down already. Um, we have enough for TC. I need... I need about 4K more wood. And let's say 2K stone. I'm going to put down a, just a standard 2x2. Two two. I don't think I'm going to build anything too crazy. Standard old 2x2. Two two. This area is kind of fucking. Look at this spot, dude. Look at this fucking spot, dude. And there's a river right there too. Oh, oh my god, dude. I, I, I might have just found my new fucking home. Like I'm not even joking, dude. This might be home. I might call this home right here. Like fuck this, I might have to move this guy out. You know what I mean? And that's fine. We can move him out. I'll fuck him up. Yeah, I'm not even worried about that, dude. I don't know. Well, let's get ourselves established. trees and uh oh yeah dude this is good this is gonna be it man i mean anywhere i mean anywhere over here you know we got oh <laughs> we got tunnels right there too dude this is it man i mean this is it this is simply it i mean this is simply it i mean i couldn't ask i could not ask for more you know i don't know how i'm gonna get back up from here uh, we'll figure it out. We have to anyway, right? We're going to have access to, like, barrels on the road. We're going to have train tracks over there. We got a green card monument, which we can take train tracks to. We got a supermarket. We got a fucking, uh, we got a fucking satellite dish. Smoil is close. We got access to train tunnels right there, man. Dude, train tunnels is going to be crazy because you got to remember your turns and stuff, though. So, you know, there is no map. There still is no map, you know. And you know what's nice now about this mode that I'm just now realizing? Like, okay, so we're at this point where I have some wood stashed. I have my scrap stashed. I have my stone stashed, right? Uh, we're able to make stone tools again. We're able to respawn where we want to live. Uh, so at this point, man, uh, I think I'm doing pretty good at the hardcore aspect of this, okay? I, I, this is pretty basic. This is pretty basic rust knowledge so far. Uh, the only thing that's changed is we're kind of just guessing where we live instead of looking at a map, right? 
and I didn't want to knock that down. I did not want to knock that down, dude. Why? Well, because I want to hit these crates over here. I see some crates. Which, dude, it's going to... Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. A satchel already, you know? And that's just amazing. Okay. I need to get back to my sleeping bag. I need to get back to my stashes. Oh, what up, pig? What up, first pig of the fucking game? Okay, this was too close, remember? So we went over here. And here we are, okay? Uh, I am just going to lay down another stash. And this one we'll place the satchels in. Uh, pop is pretty decent, dude. Yeah, it's it's 300 pop. I'll send you uh, I'll send you the name of the server I'm playing on, Fry. This one I'll hide right next to the rock, guys. You, you got to make sure to be helping me with this, okay? Uh, I'm actually gonna save the stone. And uh, actually, let me bury this. Satchel's fucking secured already. Insane. Uh, let's go ahead and craft a door, a lock, a TC, and a hammer, right? That leaves me 1,200 wood and 1,000 stone, okay? Where's my other one here? I'll take that stone too, you know. Look at this fucking pig, dude. I mean, I'll take it. Hell yeah, hell yeah, Fry. Yeah, I'll send it to you as soon as I get this fucking base down, okay? I'm dropping shit, guys. I'm dropping shit. I gotta drop that. Uh, I want the extra bow. Like, I need the extra bow. Fuck the stash. Tool cupboard. I got a hammer on the way. Uh, which needs to go... Needs to go there. And then that should be the last thing I'm crafting, right? Let's go fucking build our base. stone now. Fuck. No, don't make that, don't make that, don't make that. Uh, I, I hate that I'm dropping stone, but I don't have a choice, okay? I, I, I don't have any inventory space. I have zero inventory space. This stone node literally respond right here. I already, I already mined it, you know? <laughs> I should be able to build all the way out to here, right? Right, everything's good. Yeah, this is gonna be home. I need another lock. I need to make another lock, but TC is about to be down. Perfect. Throw a little bit of the resources in here so I don't lose them in case I get killed, right? Because I made a double door here, which is dumb. Uh, that's fine. I need a lock anyway, and I need another lock, and I'm going to move that over in the, the crafting menu here.
because in the meantime, I'm going to throw up my walls. And uh, this will be an S, I guess. Actually. No, this will be my loot room. That's how I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do this type of 2x2. Two two. I'm stuck in place. I'm stuck in place again, dude. I really wish I could fix that glitch, but I can't for some reason. I don't know why. I just don't know why. Okay, place this here. So this way, now we're airlocked, right? Perfect. Let me grab more wood, and we will finish off this base with that, and uh, we should be able to finish finish this off in wood at least. Very nice. Base is down. We did not get murdered. I think that's pretty good for uh, the new hardcore mode. I'm going to uh, go ahead and text my friend. What up, Bo? Dude, welcome to the stream, man. How are you, dude? What do you consider foul language? Dude, I don't know. I'm sorry, man. His stream labs is bot. <laughs> is a chode. <laughs> he doesn't care as long as it's not hate speech. Exactly, man. Does Rise ever look at his chat live on YouTube? Yeah, Bo, I do I do look at it, man, but I'm busy, man. Come on, dude. I'm playing Rust, man. Come on. Give me a chance. What up, dude? Welcome to the stream. I'm here, dude. I'm here. I'm answering my chat. What up, dog? Boom. Oh, my God, dude. There's more slots now, dude. That's so fucking dope, dude. That's so dope. That's so dope. Is that really hardcore, though? I don't know. Let's go ahead and get our... Uh, our special items over here and then we're gonna spend the next hour mining that's it that's all we're gonna do we're gonna make sure we're honeycombed uh, we're gonna make sure we have metal doors okay we are gonna take care of base stuff first because uh, we are eight hours behind I don't know when my neighbors are gonna get on right um, but when they do get on I want to be secured right jo <laughs> Jonah what up, Jonah? Yo, when Rise starts a live stream, question mark? What up, dog? Welcome to the stream, and what? Yeah, dude, I stream almost fucking daily, man. What you going on about? <laughs> I stream, yeah, what up, Jonah? I, I nearly stream daily, okay? So, welcome to it. Welcome to the stream. I'm, uh, where'd you find me? Did you find me, like, in my shorts, or did you find me through a video? <laughs> Bo says, good, I'm new. Well, dude, I, uh, it's a pleasure to have you in the stream, man. Welcome to it. ZYZ says, is the third row small box only in hardcore? No, that is across the board. Um, the large box also has 40 rows instead of 32 now. Um, so, yeah, man, that, that's new feature across the board. How are we sitting on low grade? We should have enough to make a furnace, I'm pretty sure. Boom, boom. Opening Discord and then texting my friend. I accidentally opened the wrong thing. So hopefully, guys, hopefully my game doesn't crash because I, I just opened a very... I opened Premiere Pro on accident, right? And that takes a lot of uh, resources. Uh, copy that message. Fry, I'm sending you that right now if you're in the stream. I am sending you my server. And, uh, yeah, if I mean, if you decide to hop on... It's not like we can meet up, you know what I mean? <laughs> Unless you actually find me in the water, you know? I do have identify uh, I identifiers, you know what I mean? So, that is a good thing. Look at me just leaving my door open. <laughs> okay. 32, and oh my god, dude, we're one low-grade short. That's just crazy, man. Isn't that crazy? Let's go mine some barrels, okay? That's, the, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take out this bow. You're going to make more arrows. We need... Okay. Okay, we can't mine barrels right now. We need to go get wood. And, uh... This and this can go in the TC to save space. That needs to go back in the TC for upkeep. And let's go, let's do this thing. 
trees. Wood. That's the plan. <laughs> Jonah says, just displaying my excitement. Hell yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, man. I'm excited to have you. Welcome to the fucking stream. We got access to caves here as well. There might be some low grade in one of these spawns here. There's more barrels that spawn around caves, which is super, super dope. What are we doing right now? We're mining. Okay, we need, we need wood. So thank you, game, for giving me another stone hatchet. It's literally telling me to just go mine, you know? And there's the uh, extra low grade we need. Cool, let's get the wood to burn the metal. We also need to go get metal. There are some metal nodes around, so it's gonna be relatively easy to get that. Uh, I have been taking note of the nodes around. Um, so there are some metal nodes near our sleeping bag, for one. Uh, speaking of sleeping bag, we need to make sure to get one in our base. Ghost says, hell yeah. Fry says, hell yeah, I got it, man. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, I'm having a great time so far. It's it's very interesting not having the map. It is very, very interesting. I am excited to see what I can bring to the table um, without having any access to any um, knowledge of where I am. Um, I, think I'm, I think I got a pretty good strategy so far, to be honest. I'm really confident with my strategy. Uh, my, you know... I'm big on running oil rig and countering oil rigs, so as long as I can, like, get the scrap I need to learn my basic stuff, uh, I am going to do the tier 1 tech tree method, which, you know what, dude, I just got a fucking satchel. Um, if I can get bean can early game as well, dude, I can early game satchel raid my neighbor, right? And I need to raid my neighbor. I need... I need to get him off my property because I'm going to need that area for my large furnaces and stuff, so his base needs to go. All right. His base needs to go. I'm going to be compounding that whole area up there. Uh, that is at least my plan. And, uh, yeah. Tim Schur says, Bo, I don't know if I'd brag about that. He says, Rise, I got banned from Discord. I got banned on Discord. You got banned from my Discord? Why? Why'd you get, why'd you get banned from my Discord? Uh, have you ever been banned on anything, Rise? No. What? Why? That's such a weird question, Bo. <laughs> CJ says, easy start. I agree, dude. I, I think this is, a, honestly, couldn't have went any smoother. <laughs> like, this seemed easier than a vanilla start, right? Than a softcore start is what it's now called, right? I'm going to get these last two trees, and I'm fucking going back home. And it's great, man, because, look, how are we going to identify our home? Well, you know what's going to suck? It's trying to find this place. Like, but, okay, so we need to just learn this whole area. We need to go to Satellite, and then I need to roam around Satellite and refine that supermarket. There's a supermarket over there somewhere, right? I need to learn where it's at. As long as we know where Supermarket Satellite is and, uh abandoned we can find our way home right we got this huge marker right there right so that that's how we'll navigate let's go ahead and take this wood home and actually i'm going to swing around uh right i'm going to swing around uh heavy and uh we're going to pick up some of these metal nodes fry says i love uh i love the strategy man you also built in a great spot to be honest dude i think the spot's fucking awesome man i love this i'm in love with the spot i'm in love with the spot i think the spot's dope i i, I don't think i could have chose a better spot to be honest up there's gonna be awesome man especially once i'm compounded it's not hard to get up there too we're not having to climb too high also i can find my home every time because it's on top of a fucking hill you know what i mean so it's gonna be a oh fucking bearskin rug dalton would be so he'd be creaming his pants right now let's get some of this a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Keep our cloth up. We do live in the desert, so cloth's going to be hard to come by at the moment. We do have some grinders, though. We do have grinders around. I don't think there's a grinder at Abandoned. Actually, I'm pretty confident that there's not. But there is one at Satellite. Um, this guy down there, I want to take him out early, too. I'll take him out with some fucking, uh, if I get enough metal burning, I'll take him out with some machetes, you know? Because I'm sure he has fucking wood doors. And my neighbor actually has wood doors too, so you know what? 
Uh, we might just raid him, dude. They got code locks, which means it's a group of two, maybe. And uh, who knows, man? Maybe they've been on fucking roaming abandoned all day. They might be actually worth a machete raid. And how much machetes does it take to get through a wall? 12. I, I mean, it takes 12 to get through a door, so I need 24. Which is kind of expensive on the metal crack side. But um, getting rid of my neighbor, for one, I think it's going to be worth it. And two, they're a group, and they should have some shit in there to make up for the metal frags that I'm going to lose on this, right? Diving tank is huge. Yo! Jonah just subscribed to the channel, man. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Early dono train fucking subscriptions. I love this shit, man. Fuck yeah. Thank you, stream. Thank you, chat. You guys are fucking awesome. I appreciate that. Jonah, fuck yeah. Welcome to the stream, dude. You just earned yourself like 4K bear meat. <laughs> I honestly don't know how much bear meat you get from the subscription. I, I said it to something and I forgot. So we got metal frags. We got 3,000 wood. We got uh, we got fucking all this shit. Let's <laughs> let's take this home. I do want to... I'm getting attracted to that stone node right there, but, you know, fuck it. Fuck it right now. There's some more metal right there. Let's take this home, come back down, get those uh, get those nodes, okay? That's what we're going to do, guys. Welcome to the stream. Unfortunately, right now, this is Rust. This is hardcore mode. And uh, the first part of Rust, at least for me, what I like to do is just farm it up, you know? I like to farm it up, get base secured, and uh, let me grab a building plan and hammer right now. Also, let me uh, get my furnace crafting. I need more stone to make another one, and I need more low grade to make another one as well. Um, stone is going to be the next thing I need to find. Let's go ahead and eat that cactus. Building plan and hammer. Thank you. Air rug right here for comfort. Boom. And uh, I'm going to make another door, another wooden door, just in case we get fucking raided right now, which could happen. Right? It's happened before. It can happen again. So, I just like to take care of things. I like to make my door frames. I like to get shit going. I don't like to wait. I don't like an open base. A lot of these fucking nerds. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word to use, but a lot of these newer players, aka nerds, don't upgrade their base. They just have these weird, wide open base that I raid and get all this free stuff from all the time, you know? And, uh, I mean, we're gonna see it. We're gonna see it live here on the stream. I mean, I'm gonna raid somebody here soon. Because I'm either gonna raid... Okay. New furnace user interface, friends. So, fuel goes at top. Input. There's only two slots now, which is crazy. Can I still split? Yes, I can. And, uh... Wow, dude, that's so strange. But it should burn at the same rate as having, like, multiple, right? So, um, I think, like, what Hutch was saying, by the way, is it should be burning at the same speed as regular, uh, the regular Furnace UI would. They're just doing this to save uh, performance. And that makes sense. Guys, my, my keyboard's so sensitive that when I when I hit my desk sometimes, my space bar is pressed. That's so crazy. DW, it has the same efficiency as the old furnaces. Okay, yeah, okay, cool. That's that's what I thought. That's what I thought. They may have my bean can, exactly, Fry. Exactly. They may have my bean can indeed. We got the metal burning, which is fucking dope. We got this new door down, so I did place it this way, so in case we're getting door camp, we can peek, right? And that's just the best way to place the doors. In case you are new and you're watching the stream, this is the most efficient way to place your doors, okay? That way your airlock, no one can get in, right? And you have ability to shoot out of your doors and, you know, for me, at least, die when I open my doors, okay? That's what happens. Furnaces are burning. Resources are in the box. I am going to make one more box, okay? unload this. Uh, I am going to save the hat, okay? I am going to save the hat. 
Bo says, see you guys. Tell Rise I subscribe to make him happy. Dude, thank you. Uh, did you actually subscribe, though? Or are you just trying to make me happy? Either way, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you having uh, I appreciate having you in the stream, man. Welcome to it. Uh, I hope I see you in another one, man. Let's uh, just go farm up some more nodes. And I'm going to bring out my pick, okay? I'm going to bring out the metal pick that I found. Uh, because there's enough over here that I know I'm going to get guaranteed. And and let's let's be honest. I, I live in a good area. I'm not going to have a lot of competition. So I should be okay to... I should be okay to come over here and just grab these things, right? I'm going to grab this, go right back in the back. And at this point, at least on high pop servers, guys, I know this for a fact. We're going to be grabbing every node we see because you have to grab every node in the area for them to respawn. That's just the way it works on high pop. And uh, I mean, normally I don't like to like mine sulfur and stuff, but we're going to be grabbing everything just so that the nodes do respawn in this area. That's just the way high pop works. I don't know why. Um, that's just the way it is. At least that's from my experience. That's what I know. Um, thing is, I got to remember where these nodes are. I'm coming from different directions here. The great. <laughs> Tell him I subscribed. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Tim says prime location. The building spot? I think so, dude. I think this is going to be a, a great place to get started, man. Look at all this metal. Look at all this metal, man. Like, fuck stone, dude. We might have a full metal, uh... Fuck, dude. Look at all this metal. We might have a full fucking metal, uh... 2x2, two two, honestly. The way things are looking. I need a lot of metal, man, because my plan is to machete raid my neighbors right now. It is going to be the best way to get in. Like I said, there's not a lot of people in this area, man. So, I think I'm going to be okay to machete raid, dude. It is pretty quiet anyways. And then, I mean, what's the worst going to happen? They're, they're going to come up and, and kill me and take my machetes. The chances are that if that does happen, and this has happened to me before, this is why I'm, I'm, I'm taking the risk. I would take the risk anyway if there were people around. When you kill someone on a machete raid, you normally don't stick around, right? You take their machetes, you throw out the broken ones, and then you just leave. Like, why would you stick around, you know? Why would you stick around? <laughs> ZYZ says, man, he didn't sub. He would have heard the bling blong. <laughs> Yeah, the little bling blong thing that happens. Well, um, sometimes people have their um, sometimes people have their settings to private so that if uh, if they do, it's not going to show up. You know, it's just not going to show up. And uh, I'm going to take my hammer out with me this time. We're going to get the metal next to my bag that I spawned out here, and uh, we're going to pick up the bag. We're going to put it in my base, or should I just make a new one? I should probably just make a new one. We need an outside bag, right? Yeah, I'll just... I'll just make a new one. That's fine. Go get these nodes, at least. I got a neighbor down there on the water that looks... Maybe decayed, dude? Because I don't remember seeing... Hang on. I mean, there's nothing over there. I also want to check out this base to see if there are wood doors. Dude, I'll machete raid every one of these motherfuckers, okay? This is hardcore mode. Dude, I'll, I'll go hardcore on these motherfuckers, dude. I'll raid the fucking shit out of them. Oh, I got raided. <laughs> That's me uh, impersonating the people I'm about to raid, okay? Base Jam Drizzy says, no, not necessarily. I subbed and heard nothing. I didn't even say, I didn't even see anything. 
Yeah, you might have your settings set to some sort of privacy. Uh, that's why you didn't show up on the stream. Uh, that's that's just what happens. I, I'm pretty sure that if you do uncheck that, though, like if you went into your settings right now and uncheck that setting, uh, you would show up in the stream. I think it still shows up. Uh, I'm hungry. I'm starving. Plan of action to solve that. We're going to find some food crates over here by military. That's what we'll do. Let's, uh... Let's run the road a little bit. Let's keep ringing in these comps and all this crap. I don't think uh, people understand how insanely rich you can become by just living on a road that no one is mining. Especially once we get like crossbows and stuff and we can take abandoned. Which... I don't see... Okay, I do see scientists. Okay. I was going to say, man, if <laughs> there's no scientist, I'm going in right now. Which you don't need a gun to get past the side. Like, I can go in there and sneak around scientist, by the way. But look how fast things despawn, you know, in high pop. Isn't that great? I love that shit, man. I love that shit. I love that shit so much. Which is why it's just important that we keep mining as much as possible. Barrels. Barrels and nodes. Nice, 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 nice. The desert also has a lot of these pickups. Those little pickup nodes, which is great. Here's more uh, food crates. That's a lot of food. I'm not going to eat all of it right now. We'll save those two tuna cans for later. Okay, I'm going to grab this node over here. Then I'm going to grab maybe two trees and then head back home. We need to keep our wood up because we're going to constantly be burning. I am going to have three furnaces here before too long. So so long as we can find the low grade, right? Which I'm, I'm pretty confident we're going to be able to just because of our location. We live on the road. Also, I have a boat down here, uh, which I might utilize here in a second to just go uh, hit some red barrels on the water. Uh, but yeah, let me grab two of these trees and we'll head back home. Nighttime is approaching, my friends. Ooh, that tree is halfway mined. What up, Mr. Fruit? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Do the beds do beds count as bags? I believe so. Yeah. So so the new rule in hardcore mode is you only have four respawns. So don't think of it as bags. Think of it as respawns. So no matter what it is, you can only have four or five separate respawn points. So see, I just mined this node and it's back already. movement over there from the scientists moving around I just see movement and I always think player you know what I mean just my rust senses what's up mr. fruit dude welcome to the stream always a pleasure to have the melon man in the stream the actual the real fruit the hundred percent organic untouched from pesticides mr. fruit welcome to the stream the actual the the actual mr. fruit we got a base down we're in hardcore mode and uh, we're gonna raid our neighbor here pretty soon because well he has wood doors like an idiot and he has code locks which means he's uh, probably duo unless he's an idiot he's probably duo at least because of the code locks, right? And uh, duos usually have a lot of shit. You no, 
know, not too shabby, man. I, I'm looking uh, pretty good for, uh, you know, hardcore mode, you know? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna avoid using a bright door at the moment. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna go with the fireflies. It's very low key. It's a very low key door that still has some light, right? It still it still shows a little bit. <laughs> and uh, why can't I place this here? Perfect. And uh, see the great thing about guys placing the door like this, as I mentioned earlier. The great thing about placing it like this is you can, uh, you know, remove your locks. You know, it's not facing outside. You don't have to go outside to change your doors. You know, you can pull it off. You're still airlocked. No one's coming in. You're safe. You know, then you can take your sheet doors, throw that uh, BZ on, as the young kids like to call it, as I've, I've heard young kids call it. Throw that BZ on and uh, yeah, boom, metal door, guys. Let's fucking go. I'm going to take uh, all this stone that we have. We got the loot goggles. That's dope. And uh, we're going to finish our walls. That's not enough stone. I need pretty much all of it. I have to make a decision here. Do I want to leave this open? Do I want to expand up that way? I I'm going to close it. I I'm going to keep it closed. That's fine. That's fine with me. And that is already stone. That's why. Okay, I was just checking. Boom. Boom. Nice, dude. Full stone. Of course, we got TC. There we go. And while we still have some daylight, guys, we don't have a lot of daylight. And uh, it might be actually setting right now. I'm going to take this uh, wood that I have and uh, just start honeycombing. Okay. While it's nighttime and I can kind of see... We can start the honeycomb process at least, you know. Because a lot of people at this time, even if they were roaming in my area, are not going to be roaming now. They're going to be, you know, heading home. Again, we're in a safe spot, dude. I, I couldn't have chose a better place to live. Like, to be honest, couldn't have chose a better place to live. We got two more triangles to place. Boom. Two more walls. Two more roofs. And, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it like that for now until we get more stone. Uh, then it's just going to be easy-peasy upgrade, right? And, uh, yeah, guys, now we just kind of, I guess, wait out the um, the nighttime. And, and actually, you know, I might still utilize the nighttime because we are prim. I'm going to uh, just go out naked and just farm up. You know, just keep farming. I could honestly choose now to um, build my tier one and make some metal hatchets, but I'm gonna opt out of that right now, okay? I don't think it's totally necessary that I need to be using metal hatchets, right? Uh, I'm gonna go down this way because the, the, the wood next to abandoned military is like really fruitful. There's not gonna be a lot of people roaming that area. And also, it's night, so unless I just saw a light on over there, I think we're going to be safe enough to go over here and farm these uh, trees. I'm going to get... Let's go for uh, 6k wood, okay? Let's go for that, because it, it'd be great to just not have to get any more wood, you know? Wood's the worst thing to get. It causes, uh, it causes attention, you know? Unwanted attention. And I don't want any unwanted attention. I don't want people building in the area. I don't want to be giving people enough wood to even think about living in the area, you know? So it's kind of risky. I am going to fully chop it down, too. Because it's nighttime, I can run away, right? I should be able to run away, at least. Timmy to turn. Change their name. Wait, from... From what? What were you before? <laughs> uh, Mr. Fruit says, I, I, I'm I, going to have to go AFK. Uh, got fam coming. 
Need to get the house in ship shape. All right, brother. Get that motherfucking house in shape, dude. Go, FK. I'll see you when you come back to the stream, my friend. Put on some tunes or something, dude. Get the mood right. Timmy Two Turnt just subscribed to the stream. <laughs> Let's fucking go, man. Let's go, dude. Hell yeah. Wait, though. Who are you, though? Still, Timmy Two Turnt. Who are you? <laughs> Welcome back, Bo. Welcome back to the stream, man. Okay, so when the sun comes up, we got goals, okay? I need to get more furnaces down, for one, because we're gonna raid the neighbors, right? How are we going to raid the neighbors? If you're just joining the stream, we're going to be raiding the neighbors via machetes. We have to craft 12 machetes for one wooden door, I believe that's what it is. If I'm not mistaken, that's what it is. It's been a while since I've machete raided a wooden door. But I'm, I'm pretty confident that's what it is. Also, we don't know what the second door behind the wooden door is. It might be a metal door, right? And if it is, well, then we're pretty much fucked. But we're going to risk the... Uh, we're going to take the risk on the first door, at least. Uh, I did find a satchel early game, which is fucking awesome. We do live next to a military uh, base, abandoned military base, which is next to a road, which means we're going to be getting a lot of brown crates, barrel spawns. Um, I think there's some milli crates actually in abandoned military base. So that's going to be super, super dope. Stay if it's night or day, hell yeah, dude. Well, prepare yourselves, dude, because these streams, if you go back in my streams, they get really, really long, my friend. So, you're not gonna hurt my feelings if you need to go. Uh, chances are that when you, uh, you're you interested, you wanna watch some real, live, uh, honest Rust content, nothing too crazy, just some average plays, you know? Just, uh,. You know, I, I'd say I play like the normal player, but I have a lot of power, so uh, above average. We're above average, definitely. Uh, we know what we're doing. And I'm saying that right now because I had a great start, right? I could, it, like, this could have went completely wrong. <laughs> I could have gotten murdered in the water, you know? Uh, I could still be struggling to get a base up. Uh, we did get lucky, man. We got lucky with a start, you know? Rust is a little bit of luck and a little bit of strategy. And, uh, I don't know, man. I feel like I played my cards right. We are at 5,000 wood. The goal is 6K, so we are going to get 6K before we return home. Um, we're close to it. Maybe one more tree. Maybe two. <laughs> Above average. <laughs> exactly, dude. Above average. Welcome to Above Average Rust Gameplay, where we don't have enough fucking hatchet power to, to get the 6k wood we wanted. That's fine. I think that's a... You know, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Very nice. Like I said, okay, so in the morning goal is to get more furnaces how we need how do we get more furnaces well we need more low grade how do we get low grade well we can hit barrels on the road next to abandoned military base we can go to the water we can hit red barrels we can uh, find some animals and use animal fat and cloth to craft low grade um, either one of those options are going to be viable because we live in the perfect area to do any one of those things right um, second thing we need stone we need to go out and find more stone so uh, I think 
the first thing I want to do is, you know what? We'll kind of do things at the same time. We'll take uh, we'll take out our, our metal pick, which I'm fine with taking out, by the way, because it is one of the first things on the tech tree, right? Speaking of tech tree, let's go ahead and throw down our tier one workbench. First one of hardcore, hardcore mode ever. So it is a pleasure. I'm very excited. Uh, what are we? An hour and 20 minutes into stream. And we earned this tier one workbench like literally 10 minutes into stream. Like, let's, let's be honest, you know? <laughs> Make sure these uh, furnaces are full here. It does seem to, to burn at the same, uh, the same rate. Tier one workbench is down, dude. Let's fucking go, man. God, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> Let me, uh, <laughs> I got a big head. I got a big head right now, guys, because I got, I got a base down, you know, that, that that's, that's the only reason. Okay. Uh, which box do we want to use? I think we're going to go with the uh, scientific wood storage box. It, this just looks clean. I like the look, and we're going to place it right here. Also, do I have enough for a barbecue? I do. Barely, but I do. I need food anyways as well. Yes, I need to go find that. Yeah, I need to go find that. Uh, those animals. I do need them. And uh, I'm not going to place my box there. I want to put furnaces there. So I guess we can, I guess we can use the loot room. You know, I guess. I guess. Perfect. Let me make another box for that. We're just taking care of base items right now, guys. It's nighttime anyway. Actually, it's daytime. Cool. <laughs> Thanks for the bear meat, Timmy Two Turned. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Beesing says, speaking of pleasure, if you homies find this stream pleasurable, give in to temptation and like this video. <sighs> Couldn't have said it any better myself, Beesings. Thank you, man. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate many of you that throw out, throw out the, uh, you know, the support in the stream, making sure people are liking. Dude, I couldn't ask for a better fucking community. I, I really can. Like, you guys are fucking awesome. Thank you so much for that. Let's go, uh, let's go a little crazy and throw on this uh, shirt and these shorts, right? I, I, we'll even go wild and throw these on, right? I mean, we're going a little crazy with all this stuff, you know? We're going a little wild, but uh, I'm also gonna take out a bow. Which, by the way, where's my other bow? Oh, there it is. Make some arrows, and we're gonna go just, uh, again, hit the road with zero opposition, okay? It's not even gonna be a big deal. Okay, Rise, this is Tim Church. Thank you. You never answered my question, okay? I'm just going to call you Tim, okay? I'm just going to call you Tim. Ben, dude, welcome to the stream, man. How have you been? Ben, how you been, dude? How's your mother? All right, Tim Church. <laughs> I know it's you now, okay? I'm going to go get that brown crate over there. And I'm going to put a lot of ladders up there eventually. Look at all these trees, dude. I mean, I'm just shocked with the, the area I live in. I'm just shocked. <laughs> we got a little raft. That's dope. I got a paddle. So that's cool. If we want to be nerds and fucking paddle around instead of use a boat. It's an option, okay? It's an option. That water is big. I would like some red red barrels, though. That, that would be uh, lovely. That would be lovely, as the 1940s nerds would say. 
Okay. Can I not misclick, please? I got a new mouse, guys. I'm trying to get used to it. A lot of misclicking is happening, and we got another scuba tank. Fucking dope. Metal. More to hit here. Some guns going off in the distance, and uh, we got some bases around here, man. We got some bases. I want to check the map and see where that's coming from, but you cannot do that because this is, well, hardcore mode, and there is no map. Welcome to the stream if you guys are just joining. That guy's going to completely miss me. I think. I think he missed me. Dude, I saw him go over that hill and then just, he's gone. Which I hope that's not my neighbor, right? Oh my god. Kinda thinking I'll grab this last uh, pile of junk and uh, oh, dude, there's some sweet nodes over there. I mean, we might go get those nodes too. I mean, fuck it. I don't, I don't know where horse dude went, but uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna take this home and depot it. <laughs> there's a red barrel over there which I need, but I can't get because there's a scientist right there. Oh, sweet, he's walking the other way. Just fuck off, please. Oh my god, there's another one right there. Oh my god, dude. I might get shot at right now. Alright, another wooden base right there. Cactus just scared the shit out of me. Scientist staring at me from the left. Fuck off, dude. Quit looking at me. Alright. Let's head back home. I'm gonna grab, uh, probably these nodes right here. I do need stone, dude. We need to keep, uh, honeycombing. That is something we need to keep up on. We're, we're doing bad at the stone collection at the moment. It's okay. I mean, it's okay. We got one stone node here. One stone node here. I'm just grabbing stone right now. I kind of want to get this home. There's that dude roaming in the area. I'm assuming he's going to be pulled more towards that fighting. I'm assuming. I keep lying to myself, guys. Like, I can't, I can't just walk away from this node, you know? I can't. And it's going to get me killed, right? The greed's going to get me killed eventually. Greed always does in Rust. But also, the efficiency that this is going to offer us, I think, is more valuable. And I'm fully fucking loaded, man. I need to go the fuck home right now, dude. I need to go home. Like, I, I should go home, but I'm still going to fucking sit here and grab this last stone node, right? There's a slight rain in game right now, which is nice. Because for those of you who don't know, in Rust, there's a 90% chance of clear weather. Uh, at all times, right? So, most of the time, basically, it's going to be daytime. And you don't really get storms or foggy weather anymore, which I think blows. I don't like that new change. I don't like the new change at all. It, uh, it grinds my gears, as one would say. You know, it grinds my gears. 
I need to find uh I need to find an animal. And I'm gonna take all my comps now and uh, move them over into the large box. Because we are looking pretty good, dude, on comps and everything so far. Like we're we're doing I mean, for a fresh start, man, this is this is pretty good. And look at the amount of storage in a large box now, dude. It's the size of a coffin. That's really fucking dope. And I'm actually going to take this tuna can, and we are going to burn it for 15 metal frags. Um, Crude-wise, we're good. Uh, any more comps in here? No, no, no. Any more comps in here? I mean, the satchel technically is a comp, but I'm going to keep that uh, in the TC area. Nice and safe. Kayak next to the paddle. Put tools down here. That's a comp. And that, I mean, that's technically diving gear, right? My dog wants out of the bedroom. I'll let him out here in a second. All right. I'm going to take the stone that we just earned. I'm going to take it out. We're going to use it for our honeycomb. Uh, I am going to bring wood out as well. Water and food. I mean, where do I want to keep that? Right here. Right? Don't I have a tuna can in here? Yes, I do. And, uh... Yeah, some wood. And the building plan and hammer. Where is that? Billy, and I will let you out here in a second, my boy. Okay, I promise. There's things at stake going on, Bill. There's things at stake. There's my hammer. There's my building plan. Not going to take out my uh, pick while I do this, right? No, 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 no. stone and that's fine okay it is at I'm looking at stream right now we're at an hour and 30 minutes I usually spend a good hour farming so that's what we're gonna continue doing uh, I need to go find animals I need food I need low grade uh, I'm not coming home until I have low grade okay I need what's the goal for this run let's say a hundred low grade Okay. There is a river over here. I think there should be some animals down here to murder. Normally there are some uh, animals at the river. A lot of pigs, a lot of bears, a lot of deer. It's like the watering hole, right? That's where you would find animals na naturally, right? <laughs> well, also, we want animals, so the game's not going to give them to us. Tim says in your Peter Griffin voice grinds my gears. I think of <laughs> I think of Family Guy every time I, I say that, by the way. So it's funny you mention that. Every time I say grind my gears, I think of that specific episode, you know? And like, fuck me for food. This is going to be great. I live next to a river, too, by the way. Like, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Hardcore mode. Hardcore mode? I don't know, dude. I see a pig over here. Let's fucking go. I hear fucking transit coming right now, which is interesting because uh, I live next to a transit. Four shots to kill a pig, and he's coming at me already. Did I just fucking hear footsteps, dude? No, I'm tripping. Uh, do I have anything to mine it with? No, I'm a fucking idiot. I don't. Uh, I can make a rock, though. And I'm going to also make a building plan because here comes the fucking bear.
you going, pussy? Easy. Easy, bear. Okay, we're gonna mine the pig. We're gonna get the, uh, the bones from the pig so we can mine the bear more efficiently. That is the plan, at least. I need to get at least 30, uh, 30 bone frags from that, which I'm only gonna get 25, right? Okay. Uh, a little disrespectful, pig. A little disrespectful. I hope I get bone fragments on, like, the first hit. Animal fat. Leather. Cloth. Animal fat. Bear meat. Leather. Leather. Bone frags. Okay. So I am going to craft the bone knife. I don't know how much is left of this bear. Not much. But we're going to use the bone knife to get the, the most out of what's left, right? Yeah, <laughs> I know, Fry. <laughs> Tim says, nice, avoiding that bear, I would have been lunch. That's the best way to take a bear, guys, if you don't know. If you don't know, just find a ledge and uh, work the ledge. That's all. That's the easiest way to take a bear solo. And that took a lot of pain to learn, trust me. There's uh, been a lot of times where I would have been a lunch to Tim. That's, that's for damn sure. Let's go ahead and take this shit home, man, because I think... I might have just reached my goal with that bear. I, I might need one more animal. But at the moment, man, that's a lot of low grade. I'm going to craft it right now as we walk home. That might get another furnace down, which will in turn get us more metal cooking, right? Thanks, Fry, for attempting to get me to turn back around. Thank you. I'm an idiot. I, uh, I depoted my melee. Which I wish I still had my pick on me so I could be grabbing these stone nodes, right? Make note of those, though, Brandon. Make mental notes of where these nodes are so that you can come back and hit them. Um, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So the sun sets over there, right? So that's east. So that's east. Never eat shredded wheat. Okay, so that's east. Cool. So that's east. So this is north. Okay, so satellite dish is north of my base. Cool. Easy. Jonah says, yo, when do the viewers get to hop on and form the first rise hardcore Zerg? Laugh my ass off. You know, dude, uh, this month I'm actually maybe going to do like a viewer Zerg. Like I'm, I'm really considering it. And like not even talking out my ass, I really want to make this happen because... Well, uh, for, you know, uh, Jonah, you're new to the stream, but uh, I normally have been playing with my friend Dalton, and uh, we've been talking about possibly trying to get a bigger group together uh, to play in vanilla. So I don't know if it's going to be hardcore mode, uh, which, like, it would be easy anyway if we were going to do hardcore mode, right? As a bigger group, it would be naturally easier. But I think we'll just do, like, a regular vanilla run. And uh, I'm not going to be planting seeds outside my base. A regular vanilla run, I think, would be dope. And uh, I don't know, man. Join the Discord, Jonah. And uh, stay tuned in the Discord. I will be announcing anything that we do, uh, like, viewer-wise, for sure, will be happening in the Discord. So, do uh, yeah, there it is. I mean, there's the uh, link right there. Streamlabs. Hit it, Ben. Hit it up. Beautiful. Low grade wise, we did hit the 100 mark. I'm gonna craft two more furnaces. And actually I'm gonna make, uh, yeah, just two. I'm gonna make one of these. And you know what, I don't want, I want all my furnaces to be different, okay? We have skins for a reason. <laughs> I think that would be super dope though, Jonah. We're, we're definitely gonna plan something we're gonna plan something you know something we got to do something double door on the way lock on the way and uh, basically guys we're gonna go out get more stone finish our honeycomb get more metal make sure the furnaces all have metal burning right and uh, I mean, then what do we do? Then You know, then what do we do? Well, we're going to be doing this raid here pretty soon. So, 
Is that what we're going to be doing? I don't know. We'll see. We, we shall see. 1,400 there. I'm going to turn that off for a second while I split this all into thirds, which is going to be easy because I just need to take this and uh, split that into thirds, basically. Take this, put it back over here, do that, split it in half, take this, split this in half. Boom, boom, start it up. There we go. It's weird that I only have two to work with now, you know? Split that in half. Pick that up. Split that in half. Then split this in half. All right? Boom, boom. Need to add wood. Half. Can I put this here? No. Uh-oh. I hear someone outside my base right now. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I want to go say hi to him. More importantly, I want to see if they're geared. Right? Definitely not my neighbors. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking paddler, of course. And uh, he's got all the shit. Okay. Good call. Good, good, good call. Thanks, nerd. What's he got here? Pumpkin seed? Okay. says so what's the difference in hardcore again i forgot i heard about it when i first when it first announced okay so hardcore basically is you only have five respawns right you only have five bags that you can get in there is no map there is no compass there is no team ui and there is no um basically i mean that's it man there's there's nothing that is, is helpful right there's nothing helpful <laughs> basically you're having to find out where everything is by yourself and uh i mean that's pretty much it I, I don't I don't think I'm missing much there, okay? I might be missing some more, but I'm not sure. Thanks for the cooked food, nerd. You stupid, stupid nerd. Thank you, Jonah. Appreciate. Thank you for joining the Discord, man. Jonah says, okay, man, I got to get some sleep, but keep up the grind, and I'll talk with you later, bro. Thank you so much for stopping by the stream. Thank you for subbing. Thank you for joining the Discord, dude. You're fucking awesome, man. I appreciate having you. Welcome to the fucking channel, dude. Uh, I hope to see you in the next one, man. Sleep well, dog. Sleep well. Sleep well. Okay, tools. What a nerd, dude. <laughs> see, that's what could... But, guys, you see that guy just died like that, but that literally could have been me. You know what I mean? That literally could have been me. You know? So, we got to respect the fact that he, uh, you know, he even, he, she tried to hide, you know, that, that could have been me. Couldn't have been, but could have been. We are, uh, using the shit out of this metal pickaxe, by the way. It is, uh, half durability. So let's head north towards Satellite Dish, right? Where we saw these nodes, these stone nodes. Let's go pick those up so we can finish our honeycomb. Uh, okay, that sounds very interesting, Adrian says, and he says you answered to the best of your ability, and that's all that counts. Thank you, man. <laughs> I think so. That's, that's fair to say. It's a very light way of looking at it, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm excited about this hardcore grind, man. I'm excited to try something new in Rust. Uh... Vanilla is very, very fun, of course. I love vanilla. I don't like playing anything but vanilla, you know? So I see a, I see a guy with flame arrows over here. Does he live there? Oh, yeah, he lives there. What's he got a car going, dude? <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. I'm about to go fuck this guy. 
I need to stop making footsteps, though. It looks like he's getting that car ready to fucking go out on a run, right? So, if he's about to go out on a run, man, that means he's possibly going to bring out some shit, right? If he brings out some shit, that means I can steal it. Okay. Is it worth this? Is it worth my stone? Is it worth my metal pick? I'm going to say yes, dude. I'm going to say yes. This guy's grinding. All I got to do is hit my shots. He's got flame arrows, right? Which is kind of scary. I'm going to open this up and see if he put stuff in here. Oh, shit. No, he pulled some stuff out, it looks like. I don't know. He might have just drove that here, is what it means. Ooh, and he just put a fucking metal door on, huh? Did he just put it on top? No, he didn't, but dude, he possibly could be. Oh my god, dude. But I can't I can't get up on his base without making any noise, you know? up. He's outside. Doors are off. Fuck. I thought he was going to be on the inside, dude. Oh, nice jump shot, dog. That was a nice jump shot. Oh, man. Nice. Nice shot, dude. Nice shot. Uh, nice jump shot, sure man. Thank you, man. Pick me up. I just don't want to oh, walk. Man, I, I, I mean, you. I just. I, oh, okay. Hey, he was gonna pick me up too. That's all right. That's all right. I'm. I'm fine with losing that. I'm good. Uh. That was a fair fight, I, and uh, he had a good jump shot. I'm not mad at that at all. I, I, I lost the pick, you know, bummer, wah, you know, but oh well. I can come over here, uh, learn a hammer, and uh, get back to mining. Derek Moss says, are you an entertainer? <laughs> Derek, Derek, what kind of question is that, dude? Of course I'm an entertainer, dude. <laughs> of course, dude. Of course. You know? I mean, I hope so, dude. I mean, that's for you to decide. Honestly, man, uh, that's for you to decide. You know? That is for you to decide. Am I entertaining? That is the question. Metal pick on the way. Dude, we lost nothing. He said, thanks for the stone. Did you hear that? He tried to be toxic until I said, hey, nice jump shot. It's okay. We'll get our revenge on him, guaranteed. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. Okay. We will get our revenge on him. This pig is dead meat, by the way. Oh, it's just running away. Okay, cool. More crates, more barrels over here. I see more uh, low-grade barrels we can hit. The stone is not being very fruitful. Adrian says, yeah, vanilla is nice waiting for modded servers to come to console so I can try and uh, it would make casual plays seem more fruitful. Yeah, for sure. He was going to be a good sport. Yeah, he, he was going to be a good sport. The people on here have not been bad, okay? And like he has a right to be mad. I'm I'm sitting outside of his base, basically door camping him. You know, what was my play there? Well, I thought he was gonna take off. I thought he was gonna take off his um, wooden door and place a metal door and then put a code lock down, which I was gonna try to get access to. But he was like standing outside of his base with a key lock. Okay, so I didn't expect that. No, wrong play. But that was that was the goal. I uh, mean, I thought he was. <laughs> 
I thought he was inside of his base. It looked like he went outside and cleared it to make sure that no one was outside, and then he went back in and took his doors off. That's what I thought. Uh, but it looks like he just fucking changed his... I don't know, he like... Changed the, the, the code lock for a key lock? Yeah, man. What's your name? What up, dude? It's Rise. Whoa, 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 whoa. You just killed me, dude. You just killed me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. What up, man? Okay. Oh, where are Yo, we, we can, we can. No, like, I'm solo. I'm solo too, dog. It'd be really cool if we could, uh, yeah, be allied. Oh. At least. Oh. At least, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, now, yeah, now you know. Hell yeah, dude. Well, I live up there okay. on the hill. I'll tell you where I live. I live up there on the hill, okay? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hell yeah, uh, dude. So I go farm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I see you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, take care, man. Thanks, dude. Okay. Uh, okay, so we got a we got a friendly guy in hardcore. That's that's See dope. You, man. See you, brother. Hey, thanks for being chill, dude. I appreciate it. Oh, oh, oh man. Actually, you, you have a bag, extra bag, because I have one and I don't use it. Whoa! Anymore. Should I betray him, dude? <laughs> Shit. No, dude, he knows where I live. Okay, man. Thank you, dude. You're okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Welcome, man. All right, get out of here. I I'm tired of talking to you. Hopefully the scientist has a green card. Oh my god, dude, he has a fucking med, though. Since he's being cool, I'm just gonna finish off mining this, dude. I'm, I'm super dope. It's super dope that he's uh he's gonna be chill. I mean that's good for us. It's it's very very good. I don't I really don't need a door campy neighbor, okay? Uh, it's you know generally okay to like be friends with your neighbors, okay? Generally, he seems like an actually like chill dude. And uh, when I do meet people on Rust, they tend to be pretty chill, okay? Uh, I don't know if I see him over there again, and uh, he's like looking at me, dude. I hope he's not gonna fucking kill me right now. I'm so low health. I think he's just watching. He wants to see which actual base I live in. Which is fine. I, I know where he lives. It's fine. You kinda gotta have this, uh,. You kind of got to have this, you know? He knows where I live. I know where he lives. And, uh... Well, he was kind enough to let the door camper live. Yeah, great find. Med's fucking great, dude. I, like, I love having med, dude. This game sucks without meds. Let's fucking go, dude. I mean, the comps are just kind of ridiculous right now, man. To be honest, we are, uh... We're sitting pretty. You know, we are sitting pretty. Look, dude, I got a fucking metal pick back, too. I never even lost one. Nice. The fact you thought about it is the definition of rust. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> dude, I thought about... I thought about murdering him right there, dude. But I made the mistake. The only reason I couldn't make that decision is because I told him where I lived, right? If I would have been, like, a little smarter and I knew I was going to betray, I could have told him, you know, I live somewhere else, but I, I'm fine with not betraying. Like I, like I said, it's better that we have uh, allies and not door camping enemies, right? I'm totally down to have, uh, you know, some good alliances, especially near the neighborhood. You don't want to shit where you sleep, right? So it benefits us, guys. It, it definitely benefits us. Okay. 
the name of the game now is stone and we are uh we're not like again we're gonna do this we're not coming back home until we find stone okay and what's the goal on stone 3k 3k i think three or four k we'll finish our honeycomb right and uh at that time right once we find our stone we're gonna come back and uh try to maybe make some machetes I need to look on Rust Labs and see how many machetes it takes to get through a wooden door. I think it's 12. It might be 14, but I think it's 12. And I think you can do it with 12, especially if, if, if you have a repair bench, right? We're gonna go out next to these rocks and look for some stone. Adrian says, yeah, usually I just tech tree, but finding it early is nice. And uh, yeah, allies are always best so he can help you counter raiders later and uh, can trade and barter with. Exactly, Adrian, exactly, dude. I mean, it's, it's gonna be a great benefit, man. Could I have not chosen a better place? Seriously, man. The people we've met, I mean, I've, I got handed a horse right off the bat in hardcore mode, you know? pretty crazy I am grabbing early game sulfur why because as I mentioned earlier it's better to mine all the nodes because uh, if you don't mind these nodes then they just sit here and they don't respond to something else right so we need to be hitting our nodes also let's look at this right here dude this looks interesting They started their airlock, but they didn't finish. And uh, what else they got? They upgraded, okay, that to metal. Right. Just weird shit, you know, just weird shit. You guys think I can kill that pig with this, uh, with this thing and live? I think I could. I'm going to let it live, though, okay? I'm going to let it live. first gun the first gun we run into of the wipe hey bro nice shots dude nice shots <laughs> around here yeah I, I i live close thanks bro okay so again uh took my resources but he gave me back my metal pick which is dope uh i do need to keep mining hey i'm i'm gonna keep getting some stone over here is that cool yeah uh, go for it all right thanks bro I, I appreciate you being uh friendly no problem oh shit there's another dude on top of this rock What's up, dude? Eh. Uh. <laughs> so weird, dude. <laughs> I can't even see because of all this glare on my screen, dude. Why is it so hard to get stone in this game? <laughs> My God, dude! <laughs> hey man, uh, do you mind not mining the metal nodes, or at least you know, no, if you can help it? Yeah, that's uh, just try not to mine all of them. Oh, that's perfectly fine. All I need is stone, dude. All right, yeah, yeah thank you. You got it. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you guys for uh, being chill. Yeah. Look, there's another one, dude. <laughs> Get me out of here, man. <laughs> he says, "Don't mine the metal." <laughs> I 
don't want him to see me, dude. <laughs> I don't want him to see me take the medal, okay? He'll kill me. Oh, fuck, dude. There's a... There's a rib and a sub here, and I wonder if they have low grade and or supplies on the inside. We are gonna take a look, friends. We are gonna take a look. That's a no. This does have fuel and has 14, not much, but it's, you know, it's good enough. And there's some fucking hazies and some meds in here, dude. Okay, let's fucking go. guys out on a boat okay we need to like uh stay away from that like north northern area uh because we keep dying over there and um i'm kind of wondering if i should make some yokas man I'm, I'm kind of wondering if i should and uh maybe just go back over there and act like i'm mining and just get one of those guys uh get one of those guys' guns i think that's what i'm gonna do we're, we're gonna try to we're going to try to uh, maybe get something off of those guys. Like, fuck those guys, you know. You know, I, I had to do what I had to do to survive and, and you know, get some stone home. Which, because like, there's, like, none, dude. I'm, I'm looking around and, yeah, I mean, you guys can see. There's nothing around here, you know. I should probably go ahead and depot this, but like I said, I don't really want to go home until I got the stone I need. And, I mean, we're still alive, right? We're... we're we're, st we're still kicking. Hardcore seems er easier than vanilla, dude. <laughs> Doesn't it, though, Tim? Doesn't it? I know. Like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> we're getting everything we need. You know, everyone's being friendly. Like, what the fuck? Hey, I'm down. Let's take this stuff home. We got a, you know, we got a Hazzy, which is dope. What would be cool, man, which I would love to do by the time I get off today, is run oil with a gun. That would be the ultimate goal. How do we get a gun? We need to go try to betray one of these guys over here. Uh, we're going to go outside their base. <laughs> the thing is, man, if they kill me with the Yoka, I'm fucking, they're, they're never going to trust me again. You know what I mean? So, they know I wasn't armed right there, which is, you know, great, but I don't really know if that's going to be the play, like going over there and uh, trying to Eoka them. I'm, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. They don't know where I live. We need two at least to kill them, you know? So, let me full heal. Get some bandies. And uh, yeah, let's go play this thing, okay? Uh-oh. Boots outside my face, dude. That's not good, guys. That's not good. That is, that is not good, guys. That is not fucking good. That is not good. I don't, uh... Yeah, that is not good. <laughs> it's just... It's not. It's just not good, man. Uh, we need to get metals... We, we need to get more metal doors on, like, right now. They can raid my fucking ass, dude. That is not good, dude. <laughs> they're still out there. Like, there's no doubt that they're still out there. I'm not. I'm not going out there. You know. Yo, I. Man. Okay. You okay, man. Me. Who's talking to you? Neighbor.
Yeah, yeah. I am. I'll tell you. It's uh it's our guy outside. What's up, I think dude? He leave, man. You left? I think he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you checking in. Welcome, man. See you, man. Later, bro. Alright, there's, uh, that's my friendly neighbor, so that's good that that's him. Right? That is a good thing. Tim, maybe you spoke too soon. Dude, I know, dude. I'm scared. I'm literally scared right now. Like, they can fucking raid me, you know what I mean? Like, th they, if they have guns, dude, they can fucking raid me. They can raid my little fucking 2x2 two two shit shack for, like, 100%. And they know what the inside of my layout is, dude. I'm so fucked. <laughs> nice ride, dude. Nice ride. <laughs> you want to drive? Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Let's go. Hell yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> we'll bring it over to these guys' base, dude. Oh, but they leave right, right here, man. This base is there. They, they leave right here. Base from the beach. Yeah. That's them, man. I think they the Oh, yeah, I just talked to them, dude. Yeah, they got guns and shit. They are the trash. All right, neighbor, I'll be getting out here. I see a stone note I need to get. Oh, okay, man. <laughs> hey, dude, thanks for the ride. <laughs> What a, yeah, what a super dope neighbor, man. <laughs> I love that guy. I think my dudes are at abandoned military right now, guys. I'm pretty sure that, uh... Oh, yeah, you see? Look at him, dude. Oh, no, dude. They're all right there, and there's my base, right? Oh, fuck. They're coming this way. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead, dude. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, dude. I got out of his line of sight. Oh, my God. Look, I don't want to keep losing a thousand stone at a time. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. Like, can I just keep my thousand stone? Can you guys leave me alone for a second? They're probably fixing a raid, maybe, man. Can they not, though? Like, see, go raid, go raid a bigger base. I see some sulfur. Like, all I see is sulfur, man. Dude, <laughs> why are there so many people around me right now? Uh, this is not the bag I wanted to respawn on. Um, this is, however, next to the... Okay, so there's satellite, right? We can see satellite from my base, right? So we're really north. There's the abandoned supermarket. Okay, so we do have green card accessibility and blue card accessibility. Well, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Since we died and there's people roaming around our base, let's not like feed into like them being there. I don't want them to know like that's exactly me, like where I live, right? Um, 
I kind of suspect that they just know that that's me, and they knew that I was going to come up that hill, dude, because they were just expecting me over there, you know? I mean, they were hunting me down. That was That's completely obvious. They were hunting me down. Whoa, dude, you, you scared the shit out of me. No, stop it. Stop pointing that at me. Quit it. You stop that. <laughs> Why are these hardcore players so weird, dude? And could I, you know what? Can I run into somebody when I have the Oka like that, dude? You know what I mean? Like, I keep running into people that insta-shoot me when I have Yokas, you know? But when I'm naked, no, no. And obviously, it's because I don't have a sash on, too, you know? That makes a difference. No sash means I'm not a threat. 100% not a threat. Adrian says, quit picking on the Prim kids. Yeah, but, you know, that's 100% me, though, so... I accept it when I die like that, you know? I, I make fun of them, but I accept it. Because, you know, it, that's going to be me here in a couple hours. Whoa, no green card in here? Okay. He's fucking garbage. I'm just going to steal shit. All right. <laughs> All right, we can go back home. What up, Hutch? Dude, welcome to the stream, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Are we still getting door camped by these dudes? There's no fucking way, right? I don't need a tent. Dude, they are literally outside my base. Why are they just hanging outside my hey, base? Hey, 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 freeze. Only get ass once, buddy. What do I do in this situation, guys? What? <laughs> they just fucking hide, dude. <laughs> They're looking for me, dude. Why? Look at them, dude. Dude. How do you find your base with no map or monuments? So, you can use the sun as direction, right? You can use the monuments that you have around you for direction. And also... And also, you have five respawn points, okay? So... Um, I know my area. I live up on a hill, for one, so it's easy to find my place of where I, you know, it's easy to find where I live. Those dudes are leaving. Thank God they're leaving, dude. Like I was gonna say, I'm not, I'm not feeding into them, like picking on me. I'm not, I'm not doing it. So, okay, we're, we're, we're fucking good. Yeah, no, we're, we're good. What up, Hutch? SNFs. <laughs> what up, SNF? <laughs> we got a Hutch raid. So, yeah, basically, Brinks, now that I'm in the safety of my base, um, I have several monuments that I live next to that I can identify, like, my base location, right? So that's that's how I'm doing it. Um, I do have several bags down as well, so, like, not an issue. Um, I am going to take this time to go on Streamlabs. Not Streamlabs. I'm sorry, Rust Labs. And I'm going to see how many uh, machetes it takes to get through a wood wall, a wood uh, wood door. Rust Labs, wooden door. Wooden door. What up, Zoe? Dude, welcome to the stream, Zoe. What up, my friend? 
Okay, durability. Melees. And it takes... That's a lot. It takes 15 machetes. Which is a lot. That's more than I thought. It takes 11 hatchets, though. And, um... When we look at the crafting menu... Right? When we look at hatchet, which we don't have yet. Okay, we don't have that learned. We can learn it. Which I'll go ahead and do. Those things are uh, necessary to have, right? So, if we look at the crafting menu, it takes 75 metal fragments for one uh, hatchet, right? And 100 wood. For a machete, it takes 40 metal fragments and 100 wood. So, it's way cheaper on metal fragments to do machetes. However, we have to make 15 as compared to 11. Which will only save us like a hundred metal frags, which is not like worth. So we will still do, we will still do the machete route, I believe. Um, that's going to be cheap enough, and we have the metal frags to go ahead and uh, make it happen. So let's go ahead and do it. It is time, my friends. Uh, have you ever seen a machete raid? Well, welcome to the fucking stream. You're about to see one right now. Okay, five hundred more wood and uh, some more metal frags. And, uh, ooh, shit, 15 on the way. And uh, when morning breaks, we will head out there and go ahead and start macheting it up. We have about, you know, 20, 25 minutes before our neighbors, the trio, show back up. Um, we did see them take off in a boat. So we should be okay to go ahead and do this, um, you know, this whole fucking raid that we're, we're going to do. I have a good feeling about this raid, man. I, I really, really do. I have, a, I have a great feeling about this. Maybe I go get my ally and bring my ally in on this. But then I ha then, then I got to split the loot, you know? And I don't really want to split the loot, so. You've done 10, 10 machete raids? Wait, 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 wait. You guys might be talking amongst yourselves here. You guys might... <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to wait out the nighttime cycle, and at this moment in time, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break. I'm going to use the bathroom, get another water, maybe a little snack, and I will see you guys very, very shortly. I'll see you at daylight, okay? See you at dawn. Break of dawn.
Okay, friends. I am back. I just enjoyed a little snack. Rice, what'd you have? I had uh, some keto fucking cereal. Some chocolate fake keto cereal. With not milk. Okay? Heavy cream. And I'm washing it down with non-sponsored carbonated water. Tim says in the chat, Rise, you the man. Being successful on your first run, getting a base down and everything. Dude, I appreciate it, man. I uh, I feel very grateful for it. Like I said, it was a little bit of luck. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. And uh, I'm happy with where we're at at the moment. I'm very interested as to why those are split that way. It's kind of confusing. Um, Uh-oh. We're running low on wood. None the matter. We should be getting some back from this raid that we are about to embark on. Are you ready, friends? I think I am. I don't know if I accidentally, like, put all this metal in here like this. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know why it's all messed up. Boost, welcome to the stream, dude. Welcome to the stream, my friend. I love you guys so fucking much. Thank you for being here. Thanks for supporting the stream. Thank you for all those that, uh... Hang around constantly for fucking hours. You guys are insane. It's just so, so supportive, man. And uh, I hope I'm uh, providing entertainment. I had some guy come in here and ask, uh, are you an entertainer? <laughs> what kind of question is that, you know? Let the raid commence, guys. This will take about nine minutes, I believe. I can actually look up the time it'll take. We can know exactly how much time it will take. It will take 6 minutes and 35 seconds. Uh, assuming that we don't stop, right? We're, we're going to be stopping. And we just got to, like, we got to bank, you know? Hopefully, Rust Gods give us another wooden door behind this man. Because if not... That throws a wrench in the plans. It'll be a minor wrench because we're going to tech tree down to Satchel anyway. Like we would normally on Vanilla as a solo. It's just normally my grind, right? I grind all the way to uh, Satchel Charge, right? So I can early raid anyway. The thing is, we learned we, uh, we already got a Satchel Charge. So if I can find a B can, it'll make things a lot easier. A lot cheaper. And that way I don't have to go like all the way down the tech tree. But normally it's a good thing as a solo to go down the tech tree anyway, because you get revolver, right? And you get the metal tools you need. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. Of course, of course, of course. I'll be gone in 30 minutes. Finally got a new job. Boost Gamer, let's fucking go, dude. Hell yeah. Good to hear, man. I'm glad you found a job. Um, That's fucking awesome, man. Dude, thanks for stopping by the stream and hanging out with me for the time you got. It's very much appreciated, dude. Daniel says, your stream is helping me get through my hunter grind in RuneScape. Dude, <laughs> I fucking love that, man. That's so dope. Thanks for hanging out with me, dude. It's good having you in the stream. Thanks for chilling with me. And good luck on your fucking hunter grind. Uh, I don't... I have not played RuneScape since I was a, a wee little tot, and uh, I don't know all the terminology and everything. But, uh... I know it's a grindy like game, so I respect the grind, man. I respect it. Good luck. Almost halfway there, guys. You know, almost halfway there. Um, I'm going to save all these broken ones. Because if there is a second wooden door, it'll be 15 more machetes. 
So I'm not gonna make new machetes. We will, we'll, that's all folks. We will, uh, <laughs> we will uh, <laughs> just be repairing these machetes as to not waste materials, right? We need to be as uh, efficient as possible on all of our metal frags, especially metal frags, man, as long as they take the craft. I'm surprised they didn't nerf metal frags, you know? Zoe says, I haven't played RuneScape in a minute. It sounds like a good play to watch Rise as well. <laughs> watch me play RuneScape? Hey, man, when I started playing Rust, there was a RuneScape server that me and uh, Fry, who's in the stream sometimes, me and Fry played that server for like two months. Two months straight, dude, we played that server. <laughs> says, damn, I think you might pull this off. Knock on wood. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Tim. <laughs> Boost Gamer says, Rise, I've seen way worse YouTubers than you with way more subs. I think you're underrated. Thanks, Boost, man. I appreciate that. I love comments like that, dude. I really, really do. Um, and you know what, Boost? I agree. I agree. Like, to be honest, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I try to stay humble and everything, but um, there's a lot of, like, garbo, um, garbage trash can YouTubers, Rust tubers especially, that are out there that are just not that good. And I don't think I'm that great either, but my whole thing with my stream is I try to stay, I try to stay interactive. I try to stay talking the whole time. I try to stay communicative. And uh, as we continue to grow as a player on Rust, I'm finding it that I'm uh, I'm able to like use my knowledge to like help other people play as well. Um, because I don't, you know, I feel like I do play Rust pretty smart, and we do things different, you know, we do things we do things very different <laughs> than other people. I don't know, if, I don't know if this is something a solo player would do. I don't know how many guys, how many of you guys would do a machete raid like this. I'm interested to know. Because I've done several of these, man. <laughs> I have done several of these. Hutch, thank you. Rise is definitely underrated. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. It's especially coming from you, dude. Thanks, Zoe. Thank you. You guys, you guys stop it. You guys are turning my cheeks red. <laughs> thank God I don't have a face cam, dude. close guys we're, we're getting close who says keep up the grind one day you'll make it I, I think we're, we're gonna keep up the grind for sure and uh, whatever um, whatever the grind brings we shall see but so far the grind has uh, only been supporting me you know it's only been supportive <laughs> the grind has treated me well so far the grind and uh, a little bit of mentorship a little bit of help along the way. You know, a good community. <laughs> We're well on our way, friends. We're well on our way. But you guys are going to be here for the start, you know? That's the cool thing. That if we do blow up, you guys are like the OGs. And I'm always going to remember your names, you know? I'm always going to remember the first viewers' names. Two more guys, and we got a hot air balloon on the way. Look at them coming to counter us. Dude with the machete hitting the door. Push him, push him, push him. All right, guys, the last one. And. This will be the moment of truth. Okay. Can you please speak, Brayden? This will be the moment of truth. I literally just said the moment of truth is what I just said. So here's the moment of truth, guys. Here's the moment of truth. 
<laughs> Will it be another wooden door? Or metal door? We're hoping for wood, guys. We're, we're hoping for wood, and also, there might be a shotgun trap, so. Ah, that fucking sucks, dude. Fuck you. It's, it's fucking... Oh, it's metal. That sucks. That fucking blows, dude. That fucking blows. The good thing is, they do not have a double door frame on this bitch. So, that is good news. Um, one door down, at least. Okay. This one is next. That one is surely next. And uh, a little bit of a bummer, but it is the risk that we took. I'm not too upset about it. Like I said, it's only going to hold us back for a minute, okay? It's only going to hold us back for a minute. We got satchel, right? Where do we have the satchel? Let's confirm it again. Let's just look at it. Okay, we have the satchel. We need to find bean can. Um, I might go a little crazy and just do a naked run into... Uh, do I need rads, by the way? To go into... Um, what's it fucking called? Do I need rads to go into military base? I'm going to assume yes. I'm going to assume yes. I'm going to take a poncho. And, um... I'm, I mean, I guess I could try to kill bots, I guess. The thing is, it's going to bring people to the area. And I'm fucking garbage with a bow, so... With all those factors combined, I don't know if killing bots is going to be the play. I am down to sneak around some bots, though. But if they see me and they aggro me, they're going to push me, right? So there is that. But we can also get milli crates here, which means we can get guns and we can get explosives. So uh, it might be worth the risk, guys. It, it might be worth it. Okay. Timmy says door foundation? Door foundation? Oh, the foundation to the door? Um. What, I don't have a jackhammer or anything like that. So, we got killed by our SAR. Our SAR guy again. He's just killing He's killing us, you know, over and over and over again. And I'm pretty sure it's our neighbor. So, I guess we'll see. It's Harmony. Yeah. He's, he's going to get me up, I'm sure. Thanks, Harmony. He, uh... Alright, well, he left me my stuff. You know, that's what they're gonna keep doing to me. Which is fine, I guess. You know, I can't really do anything about it now that I don't have guns. They're... I mean, they're gonna be fucked, though, once I get guns. Because I'm not gonna hold back on shit, you know? I'm definitely not gonna be holding back or picking them up. I'm not gonna be rezzing. I just don't do that. That's just not my game. That's just not my game style, right? I don't be doing the reses on uh, randoms. Even though we are getting a lot of it this wipe, which is nice. It's nice to uh, you know, have these friendly people around picking us up, but they also just took away all my health, which I needed to fight scientists, right? So did they really, did, like, did they do me a favor? I don't think so, you know? I just don't think so. And I just have one killed on accident. Wonderful. It's fine. We're going to be better off. Because... I don't have anything in here, right? Can I hide these anyway? I don't need people knowing that <laughs> their stash is there. We're better off anyway, F1 killing. I know it was an accident. I have a fucking hotkey. I have number six set as fucking F1 kill. And I sometimes press it and it fucks me. But this time it's going to serve us well. This time... It's going to serve us well. Tim says, you're pretty good with the bow. Give yourself more credit. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I uh, I don't think so, though. I'm good with a crossbow. I'm not that great with a bow, though. So, uh, No map, no death markers. We just have to find our body. Oh, dude, I forget about that, man. That's so crazy. you got to remember where you died. That's wild. Well, fortunately, I do know where I died, so... 
MP5 bot right here. Yes, of course. Alright, there we go. Jesus, dude. How far is it going to run? Okay, dude. Dude, I hate... I hate the way bots move on this game. I cannot fucking stand the way they move. It, it's so annoying, dude. It's so annoying to fight these bots on this game. The, the second you shoot, they're ducking and shit, you know? That's the one thing, you know, I wish Rust would fix about their fucking game, dude. That's the one thing I want Rust to do. That's the one thing I ask him to do. It's the only thing I complain about in this game, for the most part. Like, actually legitimately complain about is the fucking bots. I want them to fix the AI on the bots. Like, make smarter bots. Like, why can't I be fighting Call of Duty-style AI, right? Why are we fighting these primitive, like, Rust just came out-style bots all the time, you know? They move retarded. They move dumb. They move so dumb. They do not move smart at all. Got a lot of gears coming along, you know, our way, which is dope. I kind of like halfway just think I should just keep collecting crates. I need to get in here and, and literally I need to get some military. They might be harder in hardcore. I don't think so. I didn't see anything in the patch notes about it. This pig's going to be standing in the way, of course, of course. If we shoot it far enough away, it should run away from us, right? Nice. Two stone nodes right here. Important to note for later, okay? And we are going to attempt to murder this bot again. All right. Now we just need to stay out of the way of everything else, okay? And uh, we immediately start getting shot. I don't have a lot of health for this. I keep misclicking, dude. I'm going to lose my fucking mind if I misclick one more time with this fucking mouse. I don't know if I can keep this fucking mouse the way it is, dude. I, I don't know if I can do it because of the misclicks. I don't think I can fucking do it. I got a slug and 5.56. Five, Let's get the fuck out of here, dude. I didn't even realize I had that 5.5. Five. That's uh, that's another big item that I, I just need to, I need to have. I, I need to go save it. We do have this trio over here that's playing uh, with, they, I mean, they got SARS so far. It's not like they're far on the tier two uh, tech tree or anything. Zoe says they act like true crime bots. They act like, ugh, yeah, I don't know. They just act like idiots. They just act like idiots. Water, we got 556. Five, That's so dope, dude. We got slugs as well, which is super dope. Resources. And, um, yeah, we're gonna put that. I'm gonna put the clothes back on, actually. Comps over here. And,. Make sure one safety port is correctly Hutch. installed into the next safety port. You know, you gotta oh, put wet floor sign. Oh, Jay Hutch with the safety break redemption. My dear friend, thank you so much, man. That's all you. Safety breaks are because of you. 
the whole safety break term is because of you. I know you're giving me some credit in your streams, dude. I gotta give you the credit for the say. I really do, you know. <laughs> the safety break redemption would not be a thing without you, friend, so let's do it, man. Cheers, Hutch. Cheers, any of my uh, safety break enthusiasts. You know, open your pamphlets if you got them, you know, open your pamphlets. Boost Gamer says, what's a bear meat for anyway? Well, as you just saw, safety break redemptions. And you can put your names, and you can put your name in the signs, in the base right now. I, I, I promise I'm upgrading that stuff, guys. I promise. I'm just being fucking lazy, okay? I'm just being fucking lazy. SNF, thank you for subscribing to the channel, by the way, if you're still here. And I don't know if I said thank you. I might have missed that notification. I don't know what the fuck happened. But I'm just now seeing it in my activity feed. Oh, Rise, look how crazy you get. <laughs> I've been known to be a little crazy, Hutch. <laughs> My safety supplies are fucking clogged, though, man. SNF still chilling. All right, bro. Fuck yeah. Thanks for subbing, dude. Bye, bad. Let's fucking go. <sighs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Good, SNF. Good. All right. Um. Cloth, guys, is going to be an issue soon. <clears throat> Cloth is going to be an issue soon. So is... So is, guys, so is wood. So, um, I don't have enough to make a metal. I have to go on a wood run right now. So let's go do that. And uh, we'll probably get murdered by <laughs> our fucking neighbors again. And you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm okay with getting murdered by the neighbors again. This cluster of trees right here, though, if we don't get murdered, it's mine. I'm going to take all these. One, two, three, four, five trees. We'll grab these five trees, and we will get the fuck out. Hang tight, guys. This is the boring part. Might be an abandoned, but that seems further away than abandoned. So I'm not sure what that is. Um, we may have to go explore a little bit further to know for a fact. this last one knock them all down run home right sounds good sounds good sounds like a plan ready here we fucking go dude I need to be destroying all these bags I see, by the way. I don't know who they belong to. But I don't really even want bags in my area. And the good thing about hardcore mode is you only get five bags, right? So you start... You start destroying people's bags. And I'm glad that wolf ran away from me instead of at me. I'm very fucking shocked. 
Uh, it gave me a mini heart attack because of uh, the footsteps. I thought I was being hunted. Why does this keep splitting like this, by the way? I know I didn't do that, man. So, um, I, it's like, is it broken? Is the fucking furnace UI broken? Because, I, look, I just split it evenly, right? I guarantee you it's gonna fucking break up unevenly again. Why does it do that? Like, that's so fucking lame if that's how this whole fucking... You know, they fix one thing, they break another thing, you know? Uh, yeah, this right here. About 750 each is what I want. And, yeah, see, that's broken, dude. Please stop doing that. Can you, can you just stop doing that? Okay, so it cooks one side first. It doesn't cook both sides at the same time. That's what's happening. I don't know, dude. That's not, that, that just seems dumb to me. I don't like that. I don't like that. That seems dumb. Stupid. Fix it. I don't like it. Maybe I'm dumb, though. You know, maybe I'm the stupid one. Uh, we're not done with our metal farming yet. Un or, I'm sorry, our, our wood farming yet. Uh, we need to go out and actually... Um, get some decent wood in this base so that we don't have to keep pausing to get wood. Let's, um, let's try to get like 12k. Which I don't know if it's, it's, it's going to be possible around here. We'll, we'll see. I think I'll just... I think I'll just farm around, uh, military. So much more efficient, dude, with metal tools. Such a beautiful thing. I'm gonna lose my mind with these exes, guys. Like. Uh, desert trees are just. The palm trees are just so random and unfixed. That's uh, that's six k uh wood. That's halfway to our goal of twelve thousand. Ducky Jack, welcome to the stream, my friend. How are you, dude? Good to have you. <laughs> Ducky Jack, you have zero bear meat, dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't. You can't right now. You can't. 
Caleb says the desert trees are AIDS, dude. They are. They're so bad, man. They're so bad, dude. They drive me insane. And they're all clustered together, too, so you can't, like... The X's are moving around the trees like crazy, but you can't. You can't just, like, walk around the tree. You have to go around another tree to hit the X. It's just... It's insane. It's it's AIDS, as you said. It's, it's AIDS. We're going to fill, um... Yeah, I want to fill two rows. Pretty much. Well, more than that. Yeah, one more row. I need one more row. And uh, that should be good for the rest of our session today, man. That should be the that should be good for the rest of our session. Um, what are we gonna do? Otherwise, I might go try to get a green card somewhere. The only thing is, the only place I know where to get one is over that way, past satellite. So it's a pretty far roam. Um, and, I mean, people are going to be there all the time just because, well, people are going to base near supermarket because it's going to be how they find their base in this mode. So I expect a lot of green card monuments to be even more popped than they normally are. Especially in the hardcore mode, right? Tim says soothing farming. Farming's almost soothing sometimes to me. I don't know why. I agree. I agree. Honestly, when I'm when I'm mad, uh, farming is usually what I do to like chill out. And also, dude, when I'm playing solo and I'm farming, like when I'm solo and I'm not talking to stream constantly, I'll I'll sit here and I'll farm for hours and just listen to podcasts, you know, and just build my base and chill. It is chill, dude. It's chill. Again, it's it's about perspective, though, because some people hate farming, you know. Some people hate it, and they, they view it as actual work, which I don't mind it, you know. I don't mind it. I know it's not, like, too exciting for stream, which I might do a lot of, like, I'm starting to think about doing, like, off-stream farming. The only reason, the only reason I'm opposed to doing off-stream farming is I like the, uh, I like to show everything, you know what I mean? I stream for so long, I like to show you guys, like, the whole progression of things. And not just, like, the exciting parts all the time. Because, I mean, this is part of Rust right here, you know? Unfortunately, even though it's not exciting to watch, this is true and raw. Rust, you know? This is it. Zoe looking like the uh, Arby's man got all the meats, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's got all them meats, dude. He's got, yeah, 319. You should see some of the boys in here, though. Some of the boys got uh, <laughs> thousands, dude. <laughs> Way more than 300. <laughs> All right, let's get this home. It's not quite 6K, but I'm, I'm good with that. I'm good with that for now. I'm, I'm pretty sure that'll keep our, uh, keep our furnaces burning. Metal's burning away. This is good. Like, splitting doesn't even matter now. You know what I mean? So that's very interesting. It, it just doesn't matter. You can fill it up as much as you want, but it does, it does, splitting doesn't matter because they don't burn at the same time now. That's very interesting, man. But this is also interesting. Is you can put 2,000 stacks in, and it's going to cook more than 1,000. It's going to cook 2,000. You know what I mean? So that's, that's actually kind of dope. Because you get two outputs. I'm just now um, kind of putting that together. That's super, super dope, dude. Okay. I am going to go out on the boat. And we are going to go look at our surroundings here. And kind of just see... You know, is there anything around? Um, you know, anywhere where I can grind. Anywhere where I can... You know, maybe take these comps safely. Other than abandoned military, right? 
So, is my boat down here still? That is the question. Because I found this area by taking a boat to it. We didn't spawn in this area, right? We, we decided to dock here. So, um, it's a good possibility our boat is still there. This is kind of a, a low pop area. Which is good. It's what I wanted. I'm going to go check out that TC over there. I think this is just a horse base. Yeah, it's probably this dude's horse base. Metal doors. We'll check out this TC and then we're going to head back this way to go look for our boat. This base has recently decayed. Uh, why? I don't know. Uh, I didn't look at any of the d decay. I don't know if it's been raided. I haven't really looked that deeply into it. I do know that I didn't see this TC here earlier. So. The stone is decaying. The metal must have decayed. Right? If there was metal. And uh, this is not decaying. And that's made of metal. So there's a, there, I mean, dude, there's a possibility there's fucking metal in this thing, you know? Possibly. Let's go look for our boat. Welcome to the stream, friends. If you're just joining, hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to this new hardcore experience in Rust. Where we are flourishing today, man. We're, we're doing great. We've had a great start. I can't complain. I live in a great place. We've got some uh, decent neighbors. It's kind of mixed, which is kind of what you want in Rust. we got some uh, semi-aggressive neighbors, but they, I mean, they've been killing me, taking my shit and picking me up, which I, you know, I could appreciate that. I'm not going to return the favor. That's guaranteed. I'm not that type of player. Uh, the moment I get a gun and I down them, dude, I'm taking all the shit and I'm murdering them. I'm going to stare them in the face and murder them. I'm not returning the favor. It's just not going to happen. I can't do it. Uh, if our boat is still here, we will see it very shortly around this corner. I'm going to assume not. Yeah, that's a no. The, the boat is gone. Um, and the boats on the other side, I'm pretty sure, are gone as well. That's fine. We'll walk the coast, dude. We'll walk the coast until we find one. Uh, I wish I could look at the map and see if there's, like, a, a barge, a sand barge right here. But, again, that is another convenience that we don't have. I can't tell if there's a sand barge to walk across. There may very well be a sand barge right here to just simply walk across, but I don't know. I don't really want to swim. I'd rather just walk, you know? Also, there's a decayed base over here, possibly raided base. Uh, we're going to check it out. Oh my god, dude, that looks like a good one, actually. I, I like, I kind of smell juice. Oh, shit. Okay. I mean... I mean, yeah. You know? There's some stuff. And we need, you know? That's what we need. We, we need stuff. A green card? I mean, that's big. I don't have to fucking... I don't have to search and search and search. That's, that's pretty dope. Okay, I mean, decent stuff, you know. Somebody already got like probably the good stuff. <laughs> uh, they also might be back, so let's let's make haste. I'm gonna take that over the poncho, and I'm gonna throw that out, and then uh, the boots. I'll trade the boots for those because they have a skin. I'm gonna throw those out. I'm gonna take the battery. I'm gonna take those because we need that. Another green card, which I need to take for sure. Fuck the elevator. Fuck the batteries. I'll take the animal fat, and uh, what else we got going on? I didn't really want to throw that out, but that's fine. 
And then uh, I didn't even check TC. Ready? I mean, somebody already got, like, the juice juice. But this is pretty good, man. Uh... I am not going to leave anything for anybody else either, so... They can have, you know, they can have that shit. The paddles are good. The flame arrows I'll take. The blocker I don't need. I mean... Anything in there? No. I did check both the bodies, right? Yes. Okay. The last thing I'd like to take is the research table. Which I can pick up, and I will take this tier 1 workbench as well for later. Trade that for the stone. Let's fucking go. Alright, nice. A little bit of easy decayed loot. Tim says, I'm going to smoke one for you, Rise, and me too. Fuck yeah, brother. Hell yeah, dude. I love my fucking stream. Shit, I'll join you. But let's fucking, I mean, you know. Safe it up if you got them. We're going to get my bean can grenade from this crate right here really fast. Not a big deal. I mean, it's I mean, it's almost guaranteed that this is going to be a bean can grenade. Ready? I lied. Okay, I'm a liar. All right. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I lied to you guys. But I can't even pick up scrap, dude. Let me get this shit home, man. I got two green cards. That's really big for us, honestly, man. That's really, really big. Green cards are not going to be easy to come by. I don't know how the fuck these guys have them. Yeah, I have no idea how these guys have green cards, but they do. These wolves are pissing me off right now, man. I can't, I cannot express to you how much these wolves are pissing me off right now. Why are they so loud? You know. <laughs> Stone. They should make it, Adrian says, where you can learn rope, like other comps, and uh, you need like 15 cloth to craft. I know, I kind of agree. Can rope not be learned? I know you can learn like propane tank, you can learn uh, metal pipe. There's some other comps I think you can learn, but I'm not sure you can learn rope, actually. I agree with you there, Adrian, though. I, I definitely agree with you on that one. I'm currently hitting my safety supplies. Oh, oh, my safety supplies are clogged, dude. All the time, man. Source gathers getting kind of ridiculous, my friends. It's getting kind of ridiculous. I need to make another box, uh, which I will make a comp box for that. I mean, we're starting to look pretty, pretty good. Uh, we need to start dedicating like a box to tools and stuff, you know. Um, that's food. We can go here. And honestly, I want uncooked food in the barbecue, which they've changed this up now, so you can't fit as much. I don't, you know, something I just got to get used to. Don't know if I like it. Um, it is what it is, though. We got to deal with it, right? All these uh, extra metal shit, I, we're going to have to, like, throw them out, I think, you know. I don't think I can keep it.
everything's kind of getting dumped at the moment, man. I I'm going to have to reorganize later. But the extra space in all these boxes is so dope, man. I love that so, so much. That is so dope, dude. It's like a, a nice little bonus that Face Punch gave us. GG Duru, dude. Welcome to the stream, man. Your community loves you, too. Thanks, Tim. Guys, I appreciate it so much. At this moment in time, I need to go use the bathroom, like, really, really bad. Okay? Really, really bad. And I'm going to take a minute, okay? Give me a second. I will return, and we will uh, continue this crazy, crazy, uh, hardcore Rust adventure, my friends. Yes, we will. Be back soon. Timmy saying, uh, damn, some shots outside, no cap. Ooh, okay. I missed it. <sighs> Tim, there's, <laughs> there's a cool down, dude. <laughs> there's a cool down, my friend. And uh, how are we sitting on scrap right now? Eh, not the best. 
Let's uh let's go hit some barrels before nighttime. Yeah? Let's do it. Maybe maybe go into uh, Maybe go I, well, I want to bring meds, you know, but I I really can't. I'm I'm running low on cloth, dude. We uh as you can see, I just tried to check the map again. We're going to have to find somewhere to grind, dude. Which I might I might just take a I might just take a run to satellite. But um I might just have to farm some cactuses for some cloth, you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Jesus, dude. This fucking guy. Why do I keep running into people like that, man? That's so weird. <laughs> I, I, like... Give me a second. I'm gonna craft an Ioka and go try to kill him. But that's all I can do right now is I feel like I need to go over there and try to fucking kill that guy. What are the sh what are, what's the fucking shot? What are the chances, dude? I this game in the fucking uh and the fucking uh the the timing sometimes, you know? It's just mind blowing. It's just mind blowing sometimes, guys. It's just mind blowing. That's all. Doesn't matter. I'm trying to look at map to see where I died, but I can't. I gotta just know. And it seems as if seems as if somebody's actually running that shit right now. Yeah, they are. Oh, shit. That's a dude up there in the tower, man. Oh shit. There he is. There he fucking is, dude. There he fucking is, man. I don't know. If... Okay, there's there's my DB, dude. Okay. He can't see me because of my shadow, right? I think he knows of me though. I'm trying to see if he's hazy or not. He might be hazy. Okay, he's in the bush. I'm gonna sneak up on him, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not good for sneaking around more than me, okay? You're not good. And I am now on bag timer. Okay. All right. Well, that's pretty hardcore, huh? Awesome. Awesome, guys. <laughs> awesome, dude. <laughs> the game's literally just putting us in timeout right now. All right, so we're in timeout. We're in timeout. A minute and 30 fucking seconds is what we got to wait, dude. Yeah, so close, dude. So close. Yoka to fucking double barrel loses every time, man. I got my one click off that told him where I was, and the one click didn't go off, you know. Man, I could have one clicked it. Oh, well. GG's to him, man. He deserves it. He deserves it.
I'll wait out this timer, guys. In the meantime, I'm going to take a safety break. Uh, I'll be uh, right back. Adrian, I just saw your message, though. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Okay, our timer's coming to fruition here. There are still people at abandoned military. So I think I need to go there, dude. I think I still need to go there. What am I going to do this time, though? I think I'm going to bring a crossbow. Uh, that's going to be my best bet, though, dude. Uh, they got guns. That's what sucks. They got guns, you know? It's not impossible, though. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I got the rope and uh, shut my front door so people can't fucking see in anymore. I got the rope, I got the scrap, I got the wood. We are going to do nail gun crossy meta. Perfect. Don't need that many nails, though. And uh, ammo-wise for this, I'm not using high velocities. I need some stone, some regular arrows. People, all of that. Put that in there. It's headdress time. Bone armor headdress, perfect, dude. Caden, welcome to the stream, man. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, friend. How are you? We are, uh, we're going to head over back to military base and try to get this revenge on this guy, man. We're, we're going to still try to commit to the revenge, even though we had to take a, you know, minute and a half break. Um, we were forced to. Waiting on my crossbow to craft. Perfect. Uh, in the meantime, I should have been eating uh, food. And uh, taking a drink of water. Hi, Raiden, man. Welcome to the stream. There we go. And uh, we're ready to go. Let's do this shit. There's a good chance, dude, he's still sneaking around, you know? There's a good, good chance. I think my best shot is going back, like, towards the wall so that I'm harder to see in the dark. Fuck, dude, there he is, dude! There he fucking is, dude! Holy shit! He's still fucking sneaking around. He's running in, dude. Dude, 
Dude, the problem is he has a shotgun and I can't see. I think he ran out, dude, to be honest. But no, I still hear his ass, dude. Unless that's a scientist. Probably just a scientist, huh? Fuck. Where? Oh. Of course, from up on the tower, man. You know, of course. I just heard someone take damage here, dude. Dude, I wish I had more health. I have no health, you know? I'm one shot to this fucking DB. Or one shot to a fucking... I hate that he rats around the whole time, dude, and he gets off because he has a fucking double barrel, man. It's so irritating. Fuck! I, uh, I need to go back and just try to get my fucking shit and then go try to fucking kill him, but he's just... He's gonna leave now. He's just gonna leave. He, there's no way he fucking sticks around, dude. I got the convenient wolf in my way. Even left all my shit, man. That's crazy. I'm I'm literally gonna try to chase him down. I know he's long fucking gone, but I need to I need to try to chase him down. I don't have a choice right now. I don't have a choice.
Where the fuck are you? Where the fuck are you, dude? There's no way you disappeared like this. That scientist is ducking down, dude, like he's aiming at someone. That's interesting. Man, people are so lucky how they get away, dude. Look at this open ass fucking field, dude. And there's no one here, dude. I should be able to see him like running away or something at least, but no. Now we can just create, you know, collect all the crates here, I guess. Whatever. my shit up dude that's that's stupid that's stupid as fuck that they're still shooting at me that's so dumb i left yeah i know right fry dude Yep, yep, I, I buff, you know, I with that play. I with that play for sure. It is what it is, man. It happens. Fucking sucks. That was, that was the play. I mean, that was it. That, that was it. I just hate how he gets away too, man. You know, he decides to leave and gets away scot-free and there's no trace. Zero trace. Zero trace of him too, you know. Zero fucking trace. I still, uh, I still have no cloth. Uh. Guess I'll make a fucking hatchet. So I can hit a cactus. And get some cloth. Because I'm just going to keep running this, uh, abandoned while the, uh, bots aren't... Um, I spawned in, right? It'll make it an easy run. And the crates are going to spawn fast because of the pop. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Yeah, it's, it's a bummer for sure. I hate whiffing plays like that, man. I, I can't. That was the play. I mean, he didn't know about me. But man, I just made a hatchet and look, he left all my stuff here again. Wow, dude, he's not interested in my prim shit at all. Bots might be the bots might be back back though. Oh 
Okay, I, I, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do the bots, dude. I can't do the movement. The movement pisses me off. It's so dumb. Can't even see it. Can't even see it. All right, I'm fucking done, dude. I can't. I need it. I need to just move away from the whole, the whole military base situation. I just, I, I'm losing my mind there. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. I need to move on. It's, it's, it's pissing me off. <laughs> the whole military base situation's pissing me off. And I'm not having a good time. Okay, we need to just change it up. I suppose by getting some red barrels and finding a boat and then doing what we planned on doing this whole time and uh, going to scout the coast for somewhere like a lighthouse to grind, you know, somewhere safe. I think a lighthouse is my best bet as a solo player because, of course... In hardcore mode, safe zones are no longer a thing. You can fight at outposts, which is pretty crazy, honestly, isn't it? I'm interested to have, like, I'm, I can't wait to have a fight at, at outposts. I, I really can't. Red barrels and green crates, that's what I'm going for now. And uh, I don't need that much fuel. I have 15, maybe like one or two more red barrels. And uh, we'll head out on the water. Assuming we uh, don't get murdered beforehand, right? There's a horse there that can speed things up. The uh, good thing about the desert as well is horses are more likely to spawn. At least that's what it seems to me. I don't know if that's a, a true ooh, salvage cleaver. Nice. I don't know if that's a fact, but for me, I feel like uh, I see more uh, horses in the desert. That might just be because uh, it's like wide open fields, right? That might be why. When I think about it, yeah, that's probably why. should honestly be collecting everything I see. Uh, I just don't I just don't want to be bothered with looting barrels right now, you know? I'm feeling kind of uh, lazy and selfish. I save the barrels for someone else, honestly. Is that really selfish? I don't think so. I just don't want to be bothered with doing it right now. It seems like a chore. It seems like a chore, you know? I, um... I may go ahead and, uh take this home, and then come back out to the train tracks and grab a train, dude. That'd be dope. We can go explore the entire map that way, and then make ourselves uh, make our way back home. I think that'd be dope, dude. Let's fucking do that. That'll be fun. Yeah, we got a locomotive over there right now. You know? I'm trying to check map. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't check map. Alright, let's go, uh, let's go back. Because this is a decent haul. Yeah, 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 yeah. My fucking mouse hit my keyboard, dude. And I got this mini keyboard, too, and I'm not fucking utilizing it. That's so dumb. <laughs> uh, let's throw that away. Throw that away. I need the fat, but it's like... Okay. Fat and cloth. That's what I what I need from the guy. Did I get both of that, or did I throw other shit out? Yeah, we're good. Another brown fucking crate over here, dude. The road, the road loot's actually kind of ridiculous over here, man. For hardcore mode. 
Uh, by the way, we can go grind at satellite. It's just going to be risky, you know. But that is kind of what we're looking at at the moment. Is we're going to be leaning towards. Um, going to satellite. Where the fuck is it? Uh, isn't that annoying, dude? <laughs> He's shooting me, but I can't see him, you know? Look at that. Pops up, moves to the right. That's so crazy, dude. To me, that's just so crazy. That... tool crates. It's pretty good. Eat the fucking food, dude. When I press the button, eat the fucking food. There we go. Look at my base up there, dude. I just love it, man. I just love it. Auto turrets that move a little. No way. No, that way you're not attracting other players. It happens. Okay. I mean, killing the scientist. <laughs> um, what's crazy? What I'm thinking about train tunnels right now is there's no, there's no map, right? So you have to guess where you're at. You have to manage your turns. So if you turn, you got to remember that you turned, and then you got to backtrack, right? Or you're not finding your way back home in those tunnels. And then you come up, and who knows where the fuck you come up at, right? Who the fuck? Who the fuck knows where you come up at? And that, my friends, was a good haul. Uh, I like that one. That one was a good one. Well, it's dope that you don't have to really focus on splitting stacks anymore. I, I do like that. That is pretty cool. We don't need these anymore because we are not going to be um, going through any more wood doors. I don't think. You know, fuck that. Fuck that whole thing. It didn't work out. And it is A-OK. -okay. We do need to just uh, get rid of them for space reasons right now. We're not going to stay organized at the moment. I just want to keep getting out there and collecting resources, collecting, collecting, collecting. Because it's working out for us. It's, it's working in our favor. Is it not? Are you not entertained, stream? Metal is uh, maybe going to be something we need to focus on bringing back this time around. I'm going to bring the metal pick with me, animal fat and TC. Five arrows is not enough. Awesome, let's go. Um, train juice, train juice, train juice. We're going to take the train. We are going to take the train. And we are going to go on a long train run, right? I don't think we're going to be stopping. 60 might get us around. The whole map, though, dude. All right, I'll do I'll do 75. Then hopefully I just don't die with this on the way there. <laughs> right, there's the train. And then I need to go the tracks go... Do the tracks go right here? Anyway, th there's the horse. Let's go get the horse, and we'll find a, we'll find a train via horse, okay? We're utilizing all uh, modes of transportation in this stream, friends. I 
I do like that uh, the area we're in is having some action, though. Although we didn't win our first interaction, it's okay. Uh, the important thing is, is there are people here to fight, in my opinion. Nice, some water and some food. I'll need that for the journey ahead. Uh, if I end up like on a node metropolis, we'll stop the train, you know. But dude, the scrap gather, man. Just the scrap gather alone here as a solo is going to be ridiculous. And I need to make sure I'm clearing everything here, honestly, so that things keep respawning. I don't need to be collecting too much though. We're not we're going on a we're going on a long run, dude, so the things close to home probably should just leave alone. Scientist with a possible green card, huh? I don't even see it, dude. I don't even see it, dude. Cool. Well, that's some GP if we could grind it, you know. I got 500 water, don't need it. I'm assuming that decayed loot base we found, that's probably where they ended up getting all those uh, green cards from, is from scientists they've just been killing on the road. Imagine what that base looked like, man, before we found it, you know? Uh, easy wolf. I mean, look at the fucking scrap I have already, man. And I'm not even hitting barrels. You know, I'm not even hitting barrels and I got 52 scrap on me, man. Like, I need to probably just take this back home with the horse. Thank you, Cactus, for that. Yeah, dude, I mean, look, I'm not... I'm barely... I mean, I'm hitting some barrels, but I'm really not hitting any barrels, you know? I've been really focused on just, like, grabbing crates these blue things do, you know? I'm gonna start hitting barrels now since I'm gonna go depot. I keep, like, collecting too much on the way to go do shit, you know? It's just, there's just so much. There's just so much. I don't want to leave it behind, you know? Let's grab the horse, head back home up the hill. And then we will go get a train for sure. We're not going to do anything else but go explore this map, okay? And I'm excited to go explore this map. Man. Let's get away from this area. Let's go. Let's go look at uh, what else this map has to offer. How other people are living their uh, their lives on this game. He's in a fucking cactus, so I can't get on him. There we go. Nice. He's got good stamina too. Look at all the loot, man. <laughs> Look at all of it. It's kind of hard to just pass up. I'm serious. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> Leather gloves, nice. I don't think I can put these on, though, with the, uh, with the suit anyway. I can't. I know that for a fact, actually. 
All right, pass it up, pass it up, pass it up. Go home. And then, uh, Rise, bring out some, uh, bring out some cloth components with you, just in case you do end up getting out and grinding somewhere. Jack P, dude. Welcome to the stream, friend. How are you? Wolf skull, that's dope. Cloth, I'm keeping this cloth, I'm keeping this. I'm gonna bring the sewing kits. Uh, I'm keeping the pickaxe. Obviously, we need to be bringing some. We need to be bringing some metal home. And then the rest of this stuff. I'll bring eight. I'll bring the shirt. And I'll bring those flares, you know, just in case. And uh, yeah. Right, this is gonna be uh this is gonna be solid. Got the fuel, got the fuel. We'll do this shit. Fucking kneels out here with the double barrel and fucking kills me. Look at all the silver nodes by the way. Kinda ridiculous. Wish uh wish we had bean can if we did, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This would be a crazy stream if we get bean can, man. If we get bean can, I'm raiding the rest of the night. I'm telling you that right now. Everyone around this area is getting raided. We're going to pass up all of this loot. We're going to pass all of it up. Even though we've collected a little bit of here, a little bit of there. We are going to be... I'm trying to check the map again, even though I cannot check the map. I'm still going to be looting brown crates and stuff because that's where we're going to be finding satchels and uh, the good stuff, you know? Low possibility, of course, but the possibility is there. I am being chased by a wolf, which is awesome. Love it. We lost him, though. A little bit of wood. And here we are, guys. <laughs> I need more. I'm just going to collect more low grade from this one. Thank you, horsey. Now, uh, here's the thing. I should probably craft whatever I can up that, like, first. Let it craft and then put it in. Because I don't plan on stopping unless I see, like, some crazy node spawns or something. Uh, sure, Jack. I can give you some bear meat. Yeah, Jack, no problem. Just give me a second. Let me get this train started. and I'll hook you up, dog. I'll, I'll hook you up.
That'll take us to train yard. Okay, look at this. Look at this fucking track, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me? just so I can turn the locomotive around. So we'll be coming back this way. Well, that's good to know. I mean, that's why we do these things, you know? stuck here too oh wow guys we're like okay there we go okay tell you what it's broken it's just that's what it is it's just broken I'm gonna get one of these okay that kind of blows It'd be awesome if the train tracks weren't broken in my area. Is this the same turn, by the way? No, it's not the same turn. It's just it's just literally just broken. That's so dumb. Okay, whatevs. I suppose... We can maybe grab that engine car and keep going. I don't know. Let's go up to Oxum to see what's going on. Why does it seem chill in there, dude? get a blue. Let's hop on this engine and see where it takes us, okay? But uh, I'm down to go get a blue. I don't have much, you know, I got some shit. I don't, it's not much of importance, though. It's not of much importance, though, is what I mean to say. Jesus, fuck. Get up there. Get in here. Put that in there. Turn the engine on. Get out of here. I think that if we stay on this track, we'll be fine. Again, I don't know. We're playing this all by ear. I don't know the map. I wish I could take the poster of the train, dude. I know. Me too. <laughs> it's dope. The coal boat poster. Okay, if we get past that kink in the road, we're fine. So that's good to know. See how far we can make it this time, though. I think they slowed down trains, by the way. By the way, guys, train track uh, decayed loot is usually pretty good from my experience. Oh, kill this bear. 
Yeah, dead ass bear. And he did damage to me. <laughs> I took damage from that. Chill, dude. I like this. This is chill to me. I like this a lot. I'm, I'm currently uh, opening my safety pamphlet. That base controls supermarket right there, obviously. There's a lighthouse right there. Okay. That's a cute little lighthouse. by train tracks as well. Purple, <laughs> purple Urkel dab pen foot didn't work. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I have a uh, Cali Lemon Dream safety myself. It's metal nodes, dude. Should we? Do we stop for those? I don't know, dude. It's just four, you know? It's just four. We need to uh, just continue to see what we got. So we got launch and we got dome in the snow. That's a big ass fucking base right there, dude. Holy fucking shit, dude. That's a big fucking base. Shit. 
safety's out of power. try to spot out outposts as well. I'd like to know where it's at, but we've already reached Hobe, basically. Yeah, there's Hobe up, up, there, up there on the hill. Okay, so the map's not like... Wow, okay, so we're on the other side. Okay, shit. <coughs> No, this is good to know. I mean, we went a long ass way, but like homes up there, like we can see our base, right? Satellites right here. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna keep going because there's a pig right there. And I'm actually gonna leave low grade in here. Uh. Just so, if I need to run and just go, I can just go. We are going to try to get a blue card. Uh, I know where Smoil is. Oh, shit. I don't want to play over the hill. He's probably flanking. Yeah, he flanked the other way. He's going to get first shot. Assuming that uh, blue card wasn't there, just what I'm assuming. I don't know. Anything else, really? No, not really. Shit, radiation. Okay, shit, 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 shit. I would have to put his gear set on to go in there. Uh, do I? Maybe I should go depot. I don't know, man. I don't know. I know, I'm already here, you know? I'm already here. Where's his fucking body? <laughs> should he keep healing up? Why aren't my meds, why aren't meds showing up on my quick, quick craft? There we go. All right, give me your gear set here. Long sleeve shirt. Probably better than a tank top. An electric fuse over a bucket, absolutely. Pretty sure I'm pissing bandages right now. Okay, so that's the card room. He had a fuse that's already like kind of burnt, so I am assuming that the card was not here. 
Yeah, he already flipped the switch. It's possible it respawned, though, by the way. In that time that I was gone and he was gone, it's a possibility it respawned, so. I think it's worth a check since we have an extra green as well. Yeah, the door's open. It's probably a big fat no. Unless, homeboy dropped it before I killed him. Which I guess is also kind of a possibility. Where's the grinder in this place? Here we go. Yeah, those flares do need to go. I don't know, man. I feel like this might be my best place to come recycle. I don't know. Maybe. There's not any big bases around here or anything. I mean, that's decent. I mean, that's decent. We didn't get blue card, which blows. But then, like, how do we get home, too? Because our, <laughs> our home's over there across the water. We took a train over here. Like, fucking weirdos. Like, do we take it all the way back? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I might just continue on the train. We'll see where the train takes us. Even though this is a decent run. <laughs> it's not, like, crazy still. It's only 127 scrap, which is good for, like, the area we're at right now. <laughs> For sure but it's not like crazy crazy it's not like i need to get this home you know what i mean if i lose it i lose it we already have two green cards at home this isn't like a lot of resources you know so it's okay Oh shit, they got 
guns over there. Yeah, I know, Jack, right? I know. Because there's that bend in the road. It's fucked up. I hear pigs sneaking around in the fucking darkness. thousand water I love how water is just not gonna be an issue here I love it it is nighttime so it's a perfect time to take this home Next level train travel, I know. <laughs> I know, what the fuck, Jack? Heading home on the hills is a little challenging right now because of the hills. Pigs just sprinting at me from who knows where. runs have just been so decent today like are we even able to call this hardcore mode I just don't even know man I don't even know because if that's what we're really doing I'm trying to just figure out where I'm at I'm trying to find my lantern which is out of fuel there we go now we can see I'm also going to make a few more lanterns here Nice, man. Nice. 336 scrap. Pretty decent. We need to go get metal at daybreak, for sure. And then, you know what? Actually, I'm probably going to head back over to, to uh, Satellite pretty fast here to see if I can uh, scrounge up that blue. I'll take this with me as well. All this cloth, man, we solved our cloth problem as well. Because we have none. <laughs> we have none here. Don't really uh, need the bones. Not digging the bones. I mean, I suppose I could save them, I guess. Oh, yeah, we got an extra crossbow and a green card off that run. Nice. Uh, a little bit more nails. And uh, let's head back out. Got some fucking scrap in here, too. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and learn med right off the bat, even though we don't have tier two. Even though we don't have tier two, med needs to be learned. And this will be our first research item of the wipe, man. Let's fucking go. Cool. Do I have a hammer somewhere? Before I build another hammer and use a hundred wood. Do I have one somewhere? The answer is no. It's just cool you don't have to split stacks anymore. I, I dig that. I really like that. I think that's dope. Also, you can put sulfur and metal in the same furnace, and it'll just split separately. Like, I really like that. I think that's really dope. Okay, I gotta pick that up. Bear rugs just don't work on upgrading, man. They just don't work. The barbecue's this way, so I need to have the head facing this way. Because you get more comfort from the head side of the bear, right? Also, keep the head on this side of the TC, because this is where you're usually standing, right? The base. So we get, like, 100 comfort, pretty much if we're eating food or sitting by the uh, TC. So. Nice, 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 nice. And uh, I suppose it's time to upgrade the metal door, right? is going to block me from upgrading this as well. It's wild. Nice, 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 nice. We still need to make sure we uh, go outside and upgrade our uh, our fucking honeycomb. <laughs> But it's okay for now. We can do it during the day. All right, let's go back to satellite. Try to get a blue. Okay. Killafam, dude. Welcome to the stream, man. He says, uh, how is it, the hardcore mode? You know what, man? I feel like uh, I've played it pretty smart. I kind of started with a plan. And uh, my plan's kind of just, like, snowballed up to... There's somebody close. Hey, man. I'm, uh, I'm naked. I'm naked. <laughs> okay, all how right. you doing? All right. Get, I'm not gonna attack you. All right, get out of here. You scared me, okay? Hey, but uh, I live around here. I, I, I'm friendly. I don't know if you want to just be like cool with each other or not. Where do you live? Like I don't. I, I live by the shore. I'm. I'm. I'm basically just building some shops, so like you guys can buy some shit off of me and stuff. I don't really. 
but uh, if you don't want that, that's fine. Okay, uh, no, that's that's that's, it. that's cool, dude. I'm I'm good with uh, kind of staying chill with the neighbors. Okay, man. Uh, I'm I'm Captain Cumbeard. Usually, um, I have a <laughs> American uh, flag balaclava on. Okay. So, uh, I don't have it learned yet, but once I do, I'll have it on. All right, fair enough, but, brother. All right, I live up there. Yeah, if I ever see I you, I live up there on the hill. Okay, cool. Hey, be careful with those guys on the river by the opening yeah. of the sea. They're kind of hostile. Yeah, but... I've already dealt with them. <laughs> uh, if you need anything, just let me know. I'm going to leave a mailbox in my place. Hell yeah, man. Appreciate okay. you. All right, brother. Thanks for being chill. All right, bro. All right, bro. Go uh, try to grab a car. Kill a fam, as I was saying, man. Uh, hardcore mode's pretty dope so far. I, uh, I live in a great area. I live near a green. I live near a blue. I live near a train. Uh, I've kind of planned it that way. And it just worked out really, really well. Uh, so my start's going good. Uh, the no map thing is throwing me for a loop. But I'm actually, let me tell you what, I'm actually kind of digging it, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you my, my thoughts. My first thoughts about hardcore mode is I'm actually fucking digging it. I like the challenge of the no map thing, man. I'm having to rely on more of my surroundings. What the fuck is that, dude? Dude, people are so weird, dude. Somebody just left a campfire burning there. That I don't like stuff like that, man. That freaks me out, you know? <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? Tent man, welcome to the stream, dude. Uh, he says, so what's the difference in hardcore than from now? Okay, so basically, like, the biggest difference is no map, no compass, okay? Uh, that's, like, the biggest thing, I think. And then there's no team UI, so there's no, there's no green dots above your head. There's no, like, teaming in general, right? Um... And a lot of other stuff, man. A lot of other stuff. I, I went over it at the very beginning of the stream. If you really want to check it out, I, I checked it. I, I, like, went over everything at the very, very beginning of the stream. Alpha Rust used to be this way. There was no map. Yeah, that's what they're... That's what I heard, dude. And then, after a while, they introduced, like, the paper maps, right? I didn't play Rust that far back then. But uh, I think it's dope, man. This is cool. This is really, really cool. It's the Blair Witch Campfire, man. That thing was scary. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Tent Man. And I don't know if taking a train here is the play. I'm pretty much just letting everyone know I'm coming from this direction, right? So maybe I shouldn't be taking trains. I don't know. Either way, I think it's just going to be a bunch of prim fights. For the most part. That's uh basically what it's been. It's been nice. We did start eight hours past everyone else, right? I don't see crates or anything. There's a horse here. That horse guy, <laughs> that horse scared the fucking shit out of me, okay? That horse made me jump, right? If that was a person, I was fucking dead. <laughs> if that was a dude, I was fucking dead. I'm being very cautious, dude. I don't remember this horse here last time, so... gets over here the, the switch is still flipped which isn't great news but it could it could still be flipped and we can still get card it's I mean that spawn you know that's decent right yeah it has been uh, opened 
Is card here? Maybe. That's a no. Okay. Let's go back and get our fuse. Oh, blue card's gonna be hard to get. Maybe, uh, maybe we just fish for it. You know, maybe we just fish for the blue. Focus on getting red, you know? Uh, because we've been blessed pretty much with uh, getting green cards pretty easily. You know? This is an extra run I'm on. This is an extra card I'm running with right now, so if we lose it, no big wolf. We have uh, two more to work with. But uh, I don't know if I just am missing the blue card or if uh, people are just getting it before I get here. Because that is also a possibility. I might not have waited long enough for the card to respawn. Because I don't see crate respawns or anything either. Which I feel like they would have respawned as well. So I think someone's been here past, uh, past the last time that we have visited. I think it's safe to assume. Okay, fair enough. We could fish, guys, but <laughs> there's nowhere safe to fish. <laughs> Which is interesting to think about, man. If we fish, we gotta go... We gotta find somewhere safe, you know? That's so cool. That's so cool, man. You literally just have to take it, like, safe everywhere you go. I, I, I really like that. Oh, what? What, guys? I meant to do that, okay? What? We're just gonna farm up this area, dude. Maybe catch someone. Maybe get a little bit of PvP. Hopefully, some prim PvP, okay? Because we're, uh, we're making noise right now. We're, we're making some noise. We're letting everybody know we're here. And I am out of arrows, so let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I do have the tools to make arrows, so we got this tree reel real quick. There's a train here. And I guarantee you, they are coming here. Oh, maybe not. Let's go try to get eyes on these guys. There they are. They're gonna get stuck, dude. Watch. <laughs> oh, they're turning. Oh, shit. I'm gonna sneak on this bitch, dude. This is my fucking specialty. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. No. They're gonna make the turn. Dang it. The thing is, they're gonna get stuck. They're gonna get stuck on the turn I got stuck on, right? And they're going to end up coming back. So, can we reach them? Yeah, I'm going to guess yes, because they're going to get stuck, dude. Watch. Oh, oh, okay, they just rendered out. Okay, cool. Nope, they actually, they literally got stuck right there. <laughs> so if they want to turn, dude, they're going to come back. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. I need to get in this fucking bush right now. I need to get in this bush right the fuck now. Hope he doesn't see me. He doesn't see me, dude. Fuck! <laughs> he hopped out, dude. He hopped out. That sucks. He's still gonna get stuck, though. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, whatever. It's okay. He hopped out, dude. That's a chainsaw. I am going home. <laughs> you just got in a fight with someone. <laughs> nice, dude. Chainsaw and a hoodie. Rust, you're too good to me. You're just too good to me today. Hardcore mode. Hardcore schmardcore. Fucking horse, dude. They're just gifting me with everything I need, dude. Like, here, have a safe ride home. Thank you. Thank you, Rust. Oh, but you fucked me with that brown crate right there. You did.
Can't really be wasting any more arrows at this point. You know, the chainsaw is good. I want to grind some of this, though. And I'm right here, man. I'm right here. What up, Maz? Dude, welcome to the stream. Checking map out of habit, I know, dude. <laughs> I know. It's a hard habit to break, fam. What's up, Maz? How'd your, uh, how'd your hardcore adventure go? Okay, I need to go grind right there, but I don't want to lose the chainsaw, right? So I'm gonna dr I'm gonna drop it right there, just in case, just in case I die during this whole interaction. There is a hazy guy here. Come on, bitch. Can I make this jump, please? Can I please make this jump? No. make this one though team fuck dude <laughs> fuck oh, they're on a team <laughs> that makes sense well whatever I'm not mad about losing it it's fine we need to just come back and get our uh... oh fuck dude someone destroyed my bag <laughs> Okay, <laughs> cool. Oh shit, Maz, are we on the same server? <laughs> of course we are. Oh wow, dude, you're really close to me then. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're. you're like right here. You're like right fucking here. <laughs> Is this you? Is that your is this your base right here, dude? Where are you? <laughs> You're over here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is your area, huh? <laughs> nice, man. We live close then. We live close. I uh I live up there on that hill, all the way over there. <laughs> Someone destroyed my fucking bag though. I just don't, I don't understand how my bag is gone. But luckily I have two, kind of close in the area. Doesn't matter, because we have to, um, we have to come grab this chainsaw really fast. That's your old base? <laughs> That's so funny, dude. That's so cool we're, we're based that close. <laughs> That's so cool. How did, I mean, the map, I just went around the map on the uh, train, and it's not that big. It's not that big. I went around... Like, the snow biome is probably as big as the forest and the desert biome put together, it seems like. Um, yeah, here we are back at Satellite. These two dudes are probably still here, I'm assuming. I don't know. I got double teamed, man. Dang it. Also, I whiffed on the first guy. I, you know, I fucked that up, man. I whiffed on that first guy. I should have fucking killed him. Can we not with the rads? It's a little bit dramatic. Yeah, no shit, man. I'm surprised we didn't run into each other either. I have to go in here and try to get this chainsaw, so...
There we go. Easy, easy, easy. No big deal. I'm surprised we didn't either, dude. I've been, uh... You know what? I haven't really roamed this area. I just now started roaming by satellite. So, um... I just kind of expanded from my area over there. So I've been basically, like, been... I've only been in my area for the most part. Nice! We got our chainsaw at least. We got our train back. Fuck you. Okay. Yep, fuck you. We're going slow as fuck right now. Tim says, hey guys, I am going to pass out. It's been fun this far, and I'll catch you in the next one, dude. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this whole time. Uh, it's been a pretty dope stream, man. I'm glad you're here to experience, uh, you know, the first take on hardcore mode. The Rise experience, at least. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Always a pleasure. I'll see you in the next one, dude. And of course, thank you guys for the donations. I appreciate it. I cannot thank you enough for those. You guys are freaking awesome. My neighbor seems to have gotten off. The dude with the car, oh yeah, I can see his feet through the wall. I might be able to actually loot him here, dude. Ooh. Ooh, dude. I had it for a second, man. Ooh. Hang on. You can get it sometimes, dude. I've I've done it. I've done <laughs> I've done it. I saw something, you know. Okay, it's not gonna let us though. I kind of want to grab these trees. I shall. Perfect. I mean, that's that's the easiest 5,000 wood I've ever gathered in my life. So, <laughs> did we really lose at satellite? Did we really lose? I don't think so. I don't think so, dude. I don't think I've died that many times. Either I've died to that one dude at fucking uh, military base a few times. Which, not a big deal. You know, not a big deal. get in here. All right. Deep of the wood really fast. The fucking comp box is all over the place. And uh, we need to go out. And I guess, you know, man, I don't like that there's not any metal burning. Um, I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we just, uh, you know, take this crossy out and just go try to grind again, you know. I suppose that's what we uh, need to do. That's what we have to do. We, we got to, you know. That's what we have to do. Alright, crossbow, nail gun on the way.
It's kind of funny, Maz, if you're still here, it's kind of funny that you, uh, you mentioned where you live and I, uh, I happen to be exactly right there. That's, that's funny. I tried to, um, I tried to raid my neighbor out here because I need to get rid of him. I want to, I basically want to control this whole top area right here. Okay. That's my plan on this wipe, at least. I want to, uh, that'd be dope if I could get this compounded, right? I would love it. I'd just love it. I'd love to just have this whole area to myself. So the neighbor's got to go, right? So my goal, honestly, would be to raid him, right? Um, to do that, I need satchels now, of course. And to learn satchel, because I have one satchel in base. To learn satchel, guys, is 690 scrap, which is not that much. It's really not that much. We're halfway there, honestly. I can go start hitting barrels on the side of the road, honestly, to just keep gathering, like, the passive scrap, and then maybe just go grind a little bit later, but we do have a lot of comps here, dude. The issue is, can we grind them safely? <laughs> I don't think so, man. I don't think so. I'm not confident about the grind. Because we're going to be running into Revy kids. <sighs> we're going to be running into Revy kids and shit, you know. And it just ain't cool. Eh. You know what? YOLO. I'll bring half of this, a little bit of, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay. I am gonna keep all my gears. I mean, this is gonna be more than 100 scrap right here, which will be dope. Let's go ahead and take this out. And before I go, before I go, hang on, before I go, wait. We need to lay a bag down because our bag got destroyed, right? Somehow, our bag got destroyed. We do have meds learned, which is dope, but we need a tier two, so. Do you like tacos? Says go for it. <laughs> Thanks, dude. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for the grind. We are going to go for the grind, friends. Nice. Bag down. Let's do this. Okay. And I'm not taking train this time. Uh, we're just going to walk it. We need to just be quiet with it. And these fucking things, man. Stay away from me, all right? The sulfur nodes in this area are, like, plentiful. The thing is, I'm running out of time. The most amount of time that I'm going to spend on this stream is probably about another hour. Um, if by some divine miracle we make enough scrap to learn this um, satchel, we will. And we will raid these neighbors before I get off, okay? Like, that'll be a fact. If we have it learned, if I have satchel learned and bean can learned, we will raid those neighbors 100%, okay? It's one more door. It's four satchels. It's going to be the easiest, fastest, cheapest fucking raid we're ever going to do in our lives. And I see a missing door on this base right here. And I see boxes. So what is going on? I don't know. Did they not do upkeep on their metal, dude? Okay. Alright, so this is weird. <laughs> what is this, dude? I just don't. I don't need any of that. <laughs> I suppose I'll take them, you know. Should I take them home? Should I take the bows home? Dude. 
All these binoculars give you gears, by the way, you know? probably just left those bows over there in that base, you know? Because right now I was just thinking about dropping them all, but I'm like, that makes no sense, dude. I should have just left them in the boxes so they don't despawn. You know, and they would have been closer to me than having to walk back here. I do see some crate respawns over here. I got snuck up on by that pistol kid, damn. Like, really thinking about it, I got fucking snuck up on, man. I'm gonna let that tech trash grind first in case I need to fucking just dash and run, right? Like, I see a five band running at me or something, and I just need to leave. I want, like, the majority of scrap with me. <laughs> 172, I mean, that's good. You know what I mean? That's, that's good. It's a good amount of scrap. And I do, you know, as a solo player, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta play like a little rat sometimes. So I'm gonna dump my scrap right there, and we're gonna go over here and just continue waiting for the rest of its grind. That way, in case we do die, we, you know, still have scrap available to us. Can I make this jump, by the way? Because I fumbled that jump in the in the fucking fight. I don't know if it's possible, man. I don't know if it's possible. That seems like it should be possible though, man. <laughs> I'm just, I'm fumbling it. Damn, dude, I bet fucking blue is here right now too. I bet you it fucking is, man. Grind that motherfucker. Fuck yeah, dude. That's so much crap. Let's get out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Like, the actual fuck out of here. Fuck, that might be a swim home kind of fucking scrap deal, dude. 350? Bro. That puts us close to satchel charge, guys. I mean, that really does put us close to satchel charge. Let's, uh, let's do our best to make it home with this shit, man. neighbors right here I haven't met so I don't know about them but they haven't been on so they're not a threat right now as you know oh okay well it's the <laughs> okay never mind it's the fucking base I already went inside of 
their shit decayed, their metal doors decayed, or something. Or it doesn't even look like they put a TC in their base. But there's some neighbors over here that are really fucking hostile. They're the ones that, um, if you were in the stream earlier, they were just sitting outside of my base telling me to stop moving around and shit, right? I'm not gonna tell you again. Yeah, they're fucking on my raid list for sure. But I'm probably gonna get raided by them tomorrow. I, I, I don't... <laughs> I bet they raid me, you know? We're gonna do maybe a little bit more honeycombing before we get off for sure. We gotta finish our initial honeycomb and I wanna get a pancake layer on the top. So that it just makes it more expensive for them, right? It's not eight rockets, it'll be 12 minimum. You know, it'll be a 12 minimum, 12 minimum rocket raid. Uh, if they go at the top, if they go on the side, it's gonna be 12 minimum. And that's pretty expensive, right? Unless, of course, they go through doors. Nice run, dude. Nice run. Let's go. Uh, all these fucking bows. Or something else, huh? Let's get a box going. Items. And then, uh, let's do... Let's do a disguise toast box, and we'll do a boom box. I'm gonna have to take the door off to place these two, so I'm gonna make them both right now. And then let me make this small box that's gonna go up there as well. Awesome. Do I have a hammer? No, don't need it to take off a door, so. There's no lock on this door anyway, so. Perfect. Easy peasy. Mr. Fruit. Hey, Rise, sorry stream is running, but I'm super busy. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks for letting it run. I appreciate it. <laughs> all good, man. All good. You don't need to be heisting constantly. <laughs> Another wood storage box on the way. This is going to go in the center. And I actually, uh, I need to get a hammer and pick that up. It's just, it's blocking me. It's blocking me from uh, placing this other small box like evenly so that the door will go back on. So place that, then place the other box. Boom. Door should still fit on. No, it doesn't. No. Which side? This side. This is the this is the culprit right here. Yep, you're the reason why. I just don't, yeah, maybe if I, if I stand on something, maybe I can place it later, but it's fine. For right now, we don't need it, so. Uh, bows. I guess this will be my prim box. <laughs> okay, perfect. Prim box, and then let's grab a green card. I am going to take one singular barricade with me. Leave the other one here. Green card fuse, green card fuse. Use card. All right. Two more shots at this, friends. I might actually bring some wood and stone out right now and finish that up. I'm gonna have to bring. I'm gonna have to mine more stone, like a hundred percent, right? Before I get off of here. Oopsie! This is the last little bit of honeycomb I got. You know, that's gonna be it. And then obviously the pancake layer that I want to do. 
which I can maybe start right now. Make sure one safety port is correctly installed <laughs> into the next safety port. You know, you got to put up your wet floor sign. Thanks, Mr. Fruit. <laughs> Thanks for the safety break redemption. Uh, you know, we got to do what we got to do. We got to stay safe in the stream. Got to make sure our safety standards are high. So at this moment in time, guys, uh, if you are a safety user, a safety abuser, uh, a uh, advocate of safety, you know, take this time to open up the safety pamphlet. Uh, page 420. And uh, <laughs> read on, friends, read on. Uh, you know, in just as much safety as you possibly can. All right. I know I am. You ready? Cheers, guys. Cheers. A little bit of carbonated water. Wonderful. Hello. Am I at the right place? Hello? Yo, open the door really quick. <laughs> Baz? <laughs> I bring you gifts. <laughs> What's going on, brother? What's up, dude? How are you? Good, how are you? Just a little something to help a solo get started, you know? <laughs> hey! All right. Make sure you research that, Tommy, bro. I don't <laughs> want to see you take it out in a fight losing it. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know me. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Hey, my yeah, man. we're going around pretty well. We got lucky with cargo, so. Oh, did you? Yo, how many? Uh, how many are you playing with? Yeah, we were. I was playing with two in the beginning, and then uh, I had third person hop on. We went to do oil rig, and cargo literally came out right where we were at the very beginning. So we managed to get all three crates. Hey, dude! Nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, bro. Well, I'll see you later, man. Awesome, man. Appreciate it, bro. Have fun on your stream, brother. Yeah, thank you, man. <laughs> All right, dude. <laughs> okay, so normally, normally, I don't accept gifts like that, okay? But this is a, a fellow content creator, <laughs> TP Mads, and friend, okay? I'm gonna accept these for now, okay? They even have the extendo mag, okay? I'm gonna accept them for now, but I don't feel as if I earned those, okay? So they're gonna sit in the box. They're gonna sit in the box for now, okay? They're gonna sit there for now. And uh, if I can research, I will research. Thank you, Maz, for stopping by the stream, dude. It's a fucking pleasure, man. I heard, <laughs> I saw Antoinetta, <laughs> I saw Antoinetta in the chat. And I was like, oh, fuck. But, uh, I'm gonna mine your body. Mine this up real fast. Hopefully get a skull. Oh my god, dude, I got it! I got the skull, dude! Fuck yes, man! Let's go. I get a Maz, I get the actual TP Maz skull in my base right now. Do you guys realize that? <laughs> That's, uh, I mean, that just gets me excited, okay? That gets me super excited. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Can I put it on here? I can. I can actually place it there. <laughs> Perfect, dude. Look, dude, it says YouTube TP Maz on there. <laughs> Yeah! 
Yeah, dude. Now you get to live in my base permanently. That's so dope. That's so dope. Beatings, welcome back to the stream. Do you like tacos? Is asking. I'm not gonna. Okay. The answer's no. <laughs> the answer's no, and kind of yes, I guess. But the answer's no. Um. Cool. I already learned med. That's dope. Uh, what else? I got slug. I, I, I yeah. I already got some slugs. So the DB and this stuff, dude. Oh my god, dude. That Tommy's huge, dude. That Tommy's huge. If we get that research. But we have goals first, okay? We have goals. We just got that massive run home, which would, I mean, what's that put us at? 628 scrap, and we need... 690, friends. 690. So what are we going to do right now? This is going to happen for sure, okay? We're, we're learning Satchel, and we're going to raid our neighbor before I get off, okay? Uh, TV Mess says, I normally... I know you normally don't take loot, but you're going to need Tommy. Horse Gang owns the area. Uh, they are 12 deep. Okay. 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 Fair enough. I know. I know. I'm going to see if I can get that research before I get off. But I got this plan to raid my neighbor, and uh, it's going to happen. Like, everything's falling in line, and I'm so so excited right now to uh, go ahead and just start researching down. Okay, because this is what I normally do as a solo player. I learn the tier 1 tech tree before I learn tier 2, right? That is uh, normally the way that I do play it. So we did earn pistol bullet, even though we got some from TP Maz, we did earn pistol bullet right now, which is dope, right? We just got Revolver, which is also dope. And we got Bean Can, friends. So, the last thing we need to learn is... Satchel. <laughs> we just have to learn Satchel. Oh, man. Maz, you're, you, where do they live? Do you know where they live? Jack, shut the fuck up, Jack. <laughs> Shut your mouth, Jack, with your capping. You're you're straight capper, dude. You're the top C. You're the top C for capper, dude. You're a cap. Fuck, dude, carbonated water's so good. I wonder if Horse Gang's the one that kept fucking with me today. They live on the lake. By train yard. Ah. Okay. I know what you're talking about then. Did you see that massive base? There's a massive base over by um, launch site. I don't know how far you've roamed, but like I said, I just took a train over before you joined the stream. They have hot air balloons all around. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know what you're talking. I know exactly who you're talking about. I know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> I know exactly who you're talking about. I'm, uh, since we are going to be raiding these guys, I'm going to make sure that uh, Sulphur is cooking. Also, uh, since this is happening, and there are so many Sulphur nodes around us, let's take this time to go ahead and mine up some Sulphur, and then uh, we'll go do that before we go on the screen card roam. Just so that, um, you know, the passive stuff that needs to be done is happening. Um, and we're not wasting any time, right? Because these guys could get online, right? They can get online and then replace their doors. And if they're replacing their door this time, they're going to be replacing it with a uh, a fucking um, a metal door, right? This time, so it's going to be an even more expensive raid at this time. I don't even think there's a double door on that thing, so we only need five satchels, right? We only have we already have one, which means we need to make four, which is super duper cheap. We have the wood to burn our sulfur. We have the metal. Ooh, we need metal too. Yeah, we definitely need to go mining, okay? Because I need to make a, I need to make a pick, which is gonna make metal, which is gonna take metal, right? So uh, we're gonna go out in Hazzy as well and start farming. I need, I need the protection. Do I have uh, bandies? A little bit, a little bit of bandies, and then I might also take. Uh, yeah, I'll take the barricade and one med, actually. 
on this journey with us, friends. There's plenty of sulfur in the area. We just gotta find it. They run oil nonstop in hot air balloons. <laughs> Maz, I was playing uh, on main, and uh, I witnessed, I was at large, and I witnessed, <laughs> I witnessed a hot air balloon come over me, and then it went to cargo, dude. I don't, like, you can drive those things, dude, but landing it on cargo was really impressive to watch, dude. That, that was super, super impressive to watch somebody land on cargo. I was so impressed. Oh, shit. They're online, dude. They upgrade. Oh, this is the neighbor that uh that talked to me earlier. That's the guy. Okay, cool. He's friendly. I mean, that's got to be him. I'm assuming that's him. I forget his name. I should be writing this shit down in my contacts. I need to be better at doing that. Especially as someone who creates content. I need to be making sure I'm remembering names. wonder if he's going to come out right now. He said he's not too much of a pvp -er. <laughs> That is crazy, man. Maz, it's just so... I'm going to try it one time, because I can fly those things. And I'm kind of figuring them out as I go. But, uh, like, I almost landed it on my roof, and I was pretty impressed with myself. So I, I see how you could do it, but a moving... Ca fucking cargo is moving constantly, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's crazy that people can land that. This area has been kind of hot. Not too hot, though. Also, the new furnace UI. It's interesting. And uh, I'm not sure if I care for it yet. I think it's just going to take it some adjustments because... This fucking pig just has to fucking get in my way, huh? Come on, bitch. I'm not trying to fuck with pigs right now, dude. I need mine. I need stone, I need metal, and I need sulfur. And I need it bad, and I need it fast. And nighttime's coming. So whatever I can get into my base before nighttime, the better. So I can get that shit cooking, right? Make sure I'm getting all my pickups, because these add up over time. Just like pennies, you know? Picking up your pennies. I see two metal nodes down there in the water. I guess I'll go get them. I, I would prefer sulfur over metal, but we we don't have any metal either, so. Beggars can't be choosers. Bean cans take a lot of metal, that's why we need it. Metal takes a long time to burn, which is also why we need it. It needs to be burning. It, it should, like, honestly, I fucked up this session. I'm usually really good at burning my metal and keeping things burning. I was shit at it this time, man. But this has been an interesting day. It's been a lot of exploring. A lot of uh, hardcore I'm finding out is going to be... You know, the first day is going to be learning your area, I think, you know, learning your area and securing, like, as much knowledge as possible. Today we've made some allies. Uh, we've kind of learned our map as far as, like, what we're able to access via the train. Uh, the train's broken in our area. We know that now, too, you know. So we know which directions to take. I mean, we have access to the launch site. We have access to, you know, a lighthouse, a train yard, two or three Oxum gas stations on the train. One is being uh, controlled, obviously, as, you know, 
as it usually happens. <laughs> I love hard. I like hardcore so far too, man. I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, we have no low grade. What the fuck happened to our low grade? Oh, we lost it all. It's okay. We can craft a bunch up now. Um, I just need... <laughs> I just need to be able to light up my furnaces, right? Or my... Uh, God damn it. I always call it that. Lanterns. My lanterns. Because I don't turn these off during the day for some reason. <laughs> there we go. Nice. And isn't that just comfy, man? I love these lanterns, dude. <laughs> Alright, metal in here. Where's my wood? I didn't even turn this on as I left, you know? It is cool that you don't have to like split stacks in anymore, you know? I, I do find that very interesting. But still. Nine hundred and thirty. Now now is crafting time, you know what I mean? We're gonna do what we can. We can start crafting our uh, bean cans. So Oh my gosh, Jack. It's not it's not any sorcery, okay? It's a fixed system. And I haven't even changed the prices of the system yet, you know? You guys are about to, like... No one's redeemed name on sign yet? And it's kind of shocking, because any day now... Name on sign is going up. I mean, it's going to be expensive to put your name in this fucking base, alright? It just is, guys. It just is. It's the way it is. It's the way it's going to be. So, fair warning, fair warning. You think this is sorcery? You have no idea, dude. You have no idea. Bean can wise, how many do we need for four satchels? The answer is 16, because it's four bean cans per satchel. Four times four is 16, guys. And that's uh, big brain math. That is big brain math. Plus, I mean, we need... No, oh, no, we have another one. So. Two hundred thousand bear meat. J Jesus, Jack. Why are you asking me for bear meat? Let's uh, look at our <laughs> our trashy boxes right now and see what we got going on. I guess we can be organizing. Uh, I mean, that's a pretty good looking box still. I mean, there's comps and shit all over the place. <laughs> there's literally shit all over the place, man. See how many uh, bean cans that makes. Eight. So we are halfway there. I don't think we really need any more sulfur. I think it just needs to cook. No, dude. Very interesting. I 
I don't like it. I don't like the new UI. I do not like that. <laughs> I just don't like it. I don't dig it. I think it's lame. I like the old system better. But again, who, who am I? My opinion matters none. seconds per bean can, man. Holy crap. Dude, I'm so stoked for this mini raid that we're about to embark on, man. I love that we're getting rid of my neighbors, like, immediately. I just love it. I love it. I couldn't have uh, expected a better day, to be honest. I mean, hopefully, it's not over yet. They can log on right now, man. They can log on right now. They really, really could, you know. It is very, very possible that this raid does not happen. Until we're doing it, it's possible it doesn't happen. So we need to just be aware of that and be conscious that what we're expecting and we're working towards right now can be just lit up, you know, just s set to flames. <laughs> don't I need more furnaces I hate having just three furnaces I don't have enough I just don't have enough I need more furnaces more and more 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 the more the better dude the more the better Okay, I think we have enough sulfur, and I think we have um, enough metal, honestly, right now, to uh, do this raid. I'm pretty confident in that. We're just waiting on it to cook. Um, I am going to go out and farm more for stone, so we can get this honeycomb done before I log off. We need uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need like ten nodes, <laughs> which is a lot. And we need to finish this side, so like ten or eleven nodes. 
Can we get some rain, man? I love that. I just love that. TP Mess says, have a good night, man. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, brother. Dude, thanks for stopping by and hanging out in the stream for a little bit, man. I appreciate it. Uh, and thanks for stopping in the stream, too. <laughs> Super dope. Always a pleasure, man. Uh, have a good night. I'll see you later. Fucking cargo, dude. That's dope. Okay, let me see if I can find some uh, stone. That's kind of the goal right now. While uh, things cook up, we can take care of base, do the things we need to do to be able to sign off for the night. Uh, finding stone is necessary. Kelly. <laughs> My friendly neighbor probably just got killed by Zach Ellie. Dude, there's just no stone. Taking it over there. I see a dude on a horse. Probably going to counter that. Horse dude doesn't see me or care about me. It's fine. I'll let him move on. I'll let him move on in that direction. It's fine. I'll allow him to live. Still really not finding any stone. Uh, which kind of makes me angry. Not gonna lie. I need it. Like, I need to have stone. Before I get off. <sighs> like I've got to have it. Like I've got to have stone. <laughs> Unless I honeycomb in metal. Which is 
where it's gonna be fucking go. I hope, dude, I hope this guy I'm raiding has some stone, dude. And I would imagine so. It's gonna be so quick, dude. Boom, 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 boom. Raid TC. Dude, he's blind. He's just blind. <laughs> I mean, I think it's my neighbor, but I'm going to go chase him anyway. I don't think he's looking around him at all. Look at him sneaking up on the scientist. Are you my neighbor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Nice, dude. <laughs> hey, you, you, you take whatever. I'm just. I just want to take the car. Fair enough. Which, which one are you? Are you Rise or Simon? Rise. Oh, Rise. Hey. Yeah. Uh, I met this cool dude too, Simon. I don't know if you know, him, but cool. Hell yeah, man. Oh, by the way, um, Rosita. In like two or three days, I'm gonna I'm gonna have like a farm, so I'll give you some perfect loans, and then I'll be selling seeds and shit too. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Fuck yeah, we got a PVE. Uh, we got Thank a. You, Thank you, dude. We got a we got an awesome uh, PVE teammate. It seems who's gonna be making cars and shit. Probably hook us up, you know. Probably hook us up with a car in the future. One would hope, okay? They, they might get raided. By me. I won't raid him. I'm just joking. I'm just... I'm just pulling... I... There's... Honestly, he'll probably benefit me more... By not raiding him. Like, I'm telling you. He's probably gonna be a good resource. Because he's a farmer, right? And, uh, even if I have to, like, change my name and maybe raid his base anyway because he's a farmer and then, you know, I need the resources that he's going to be having. You know? <laughs> Adventure Log, dude. Welcome to the stream. He says, that's how it goes. When you need stone, you have to search, like, eight grids to find stone, dude. And it's been miserable. I hate it, dude. I can't fucking find it. You know, and then I come over here and I immediately spend it on my base, which hurts. It actually hurts. It's like paying bills. You know? Bills paid. Okay, still don't have enough, though, you know? Still don't have enough. You know, we got this. We got this right here for the pancake layer. And we got this right here. So, a few more stone notes. I might just uh, have to do metal. But, you know, we are also, we are also about to raid... Which means that they might have all the resources I need. It is a duo. It's a duo minimum. So they should have something for me. I'm pretty confident that they will. Powder. Spare wood in here. How we doing on the metal? 
pretty decent. Pretty decent. New tuna can lamp for the wall. And, uh... Here we go with gunpowder. Nice. Extra sulfur in here. Yes. More gunpowder crafting. Awesome, man. Awesome. That should do it. That should honestly give us the uh, rest of the bean cans we need. Then we have to go get the rest of the scrap that we need, right? Which is how much? 25? 25 scrap. 25 scrap. We have uh, 96, so 31 scrap is what we need to get, which is going to be so fucking easy, man. It's going to be so easy, it's going to be ridiculously easy. <laughs> it's going to be. That's just how it's going to be, you know? <laughs> I love it, man. Let me burn that can really fast. That takes a long time. Holy shit. Holy shit, that takes a long time. <laughs> what up, Ali? <laughs> Welcome to the stream, man. Small question, how do you find oil? You can see it in the distance. I live next to oil. I live close to a oil, right? So that was kind of my goal. I live in such a great area, man. I got I got a green, I got several greens, I got several blues, and I got several red options. And uh, I live right next to oil, so. Real question is once you find oil rig, how the fuck do you know where you live? Dude, it's so easy. It's just so easy, man, because, okay, basically, I made it easy on myself because we live in the desert, right? So all I have to know is the desert biome. If I find the desert biome, we're going to find satellite. If we find satellite, I can find my base, right? So you guys, like, if you're going to play hardcore mode, it's literally just find larger monuments that you can live next to that will navigate your direction. That's all you got to do. <laughs> Ali, I was saying that earlier. Imagine going tunnels. If you go tunnels, you have to literally think about all your turns and then remember them. Or, like, who knows where the fuck you'll come out at, you know? <laughs> I was thinking that exact same thing. Okay, bean cans. How many do I have, right? I made eight? I made eight. So I need to make eight more. Awesome, that'll make our four satchels. I know, Ollie, I know, dude. You can go in circles and never know where you're gonna ever come out of, man. <laughs> no, dude. You gamble your meat the way you gamble your meat. If you lose, you lose. No refunds. What does that say? Bet not. Halo. Spares. Oh, I've never actually looked at the workbench. Cool. Blue. <laughs> what up, wrong spelling, Goko Melon? Hello, beautiful people of this channel. What up? Hello. Hi, my friend. Not rig jack fixed. B 
Champion can take forever, but we are on the last one. And then we can go get the scrap we need to be successful. Alright. Scrap slash stone run. Alright, scrap slash stone run. And then we'll do this raid, okay? We need the scrap. We need, what, 30 scrap? I'm going the wrong way. Scrap's easy to get where I live. And, uh, oh, nice, a stone node right here. You know, guys, I know it's crazy to, like, walk back just for one stone node, but it's so hard to come by right now that uh, it's definitely, definitely worth it right now to do it. Because I can come over here and immediately spend it, and there's uh, just no risk of it getting stolen, you know? the other side right here that's what I need to do in this okay cool how do you find underwater labs that is actually one of my goals Ollie and uh, it's gonna be easy um, just getting a sub just getting a sub and there's lights I mean you can see it once you go once like once you dive down you could see you know you'll be able to find the lights I think it's just gonna be like a little bit of diving but finding an underwater labs, I think, in a server like this is going to be actually pretty cool. So. Goko Melon says, uh, chilling and drinking my ice cold tea while watching Rise. Hell yeah, man. Welcome to the stream, dude. Good to have you. Sweet. Awesome. We do have the scrap we need to get this uh, raid done, so... Let's go do it, man. guys so we do have uh fuck that thing we do have enough to get this fucking thing done man someone else is also satchel rating
nice, 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 nice. Boom, dude. Let's fucking go, dude. I'm so fucking excited right now. Grab all that. fuck am I looking for, dude? Fuck, dude. I'm starting to get tired. It's, it's 4.15 in the morning. Holy shit. Uh, satchels. Okay, so we're gonna do satchels, which means we need cloth, and we need uh, stashes. We only need four. Small question. You can still buy minis. Yes, yes, you can, but there are no safe zones. So, yeah, and Jack's right. I, I normally do end up just stealing my minis. Yeah. Normally, that's what I end up doing. No, they're not spawning on the road. No, you still gotta buy him from Bandit or uh You still gotta buy him from Bandit or Outpost. But uh Yeah, like I said, there are no uh <laughs> there are no safe zones. So am I making four satchels right now? I'm short one bean can. There it is. Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, it's just one metal door because I only... Because this raid is from earlier. I went through a... Um, I went through a, uh, a wooden door. And I don't think they have double doors. Unless they have a metal frame. I don't think they have double doors. I think it's just a single door. And a TC. So, that's what I am expecting. This may be shit. There might be nothing in here. Either way, I want to get rid of them. Because I want the whole area to myself, pretty much. So. If I can... Grief them... I will grieve them. It's literally right next door, guys. It's literally right next door. We can go, I'll go show you right now, you know. It's just this little two by one right here. Okay. This is it. One metal door. They had a wooden door on front, and uh, I don't see a double door frame here. If there is, I'll just make more satchels. Not a big deal. I'm pretty sure I have enough to make enough. some of this and I'll go ahead and make one of these
I don't know. No, 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 no. It's not the farmer. The farmer lives down by the coast. Yeah, yeah. The farmer lives down by the coast. The farmer's cool. I'm not going to raid the farmer. I might raid the farmer, but it'd be it'd be later, okay? Farmer should be protected. <laughs> Protect the farmer. Protect the farmer, he says. Protect the farmer. Dud it already. Dude. Can we like uh Oh my god, dude. <laughs> There's some road sign in here. 411 sulfur. And uh yeah. Fuck me, dude. Garage door. All right, dude. What's on his body? This says desert, which means, uh... <laughs> It's just a forward operating base, I guess. Thelma. Thelma. Definitely worth it, Space Jam. Dude, you're still fucking here, by the way? Holy fuck. Bye-bye bags. They don't have uh, any cloth on them, huh? They normally never do. <laughs> they normally never do. Five, five, six... Why do they have so much? I don't know. Uh, they must have lost all their guns or something. Either way, bye-bye, friend. Nice knowing ya.
<laughs> Let's go, dude. Let's go. Very good, man. That's awesome. That's just that's just so great, man. That's just so great. Denzel washing machine. <laughs> Denzel washing machine. Uh, this is a hardcore server, friend. This is a hardcore server. It is, uh, like, as the title says, the big the big thumbnail, it is a vanilla. Uh, hardcore mode. That's what we're doing out here, okay? Space Jam Drizzy says, why wouldn't I be? You're still streaming, right? So I'm watching, man. I appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Yes, dude. That's just so, so great. Hardcore vanilla. Perfect best way to play, dude. It's, You know what, man? I've, I've enjoyed it so far, Denzel. I have enjoyed it. It's been a great day, man. It's been such a great wipe. It's been such an awesome, fun wipe day, man. It really, really has. I've enjoyed it so, so very much. You said look at the cute little farmer. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh let's continue. We need to go get I mean, we do have the stone right there. I mean we have the stone. We do have the stone. Let's go get our stone really fast. Piggy. Nice, 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 nice. Ah, okay. I already upgraded that. I just need the wood. good. Hell yeah, dude. Did you play original before it was on Steam? No, I didn't. But I heard that that was the original, like, hardcore Rust way of playing. Was that there was, like, no map and shit? Uh, I believe that's true, right? I believe that is true, friend. I believe it is true. But no, I didn't. Did you? It wasn't it called Legacy or some shit like that? 
Ali says, I have to go. Love what I watch. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by, dude. I hope to see you in the next one. You guys are fucking awesome, man. You guys are fucking awesome. Very soon we will be, uh, hopefully, controlling the top of the sail, man. I'm very excited about it. Very, very excited. We've worked hard for this, man. We've worked hard for this all day, you know? And it hasn't been too long of a session. We've, we've done about six hours. I think that's pretty solid. We're about to call it for the night. We're about to call it for the night, and that will be it. Maybe like Maybe one more over here Like right here <laughs> The problem is I'm gonna have to uh, I'm definitely gonna have to go get more stone Just for upkeep Damn it, man. <laughs> We're going to be on here another hour. Like, for sure. Like, for sure. So. I do not want neighbors, Denzel. You are damn sure, man. I'm. Oh, so, my goal of this... My whole goal of, like, making these CCs is to make sure uh, I can control the top of this hill, right? I, I want to be able to compound. We'll see how it goes, you know? We'll see how it goes. That's for certain. We will see how it goes. <laughs> uh, this is pretty dope. That raid gave us the ability to armor up our, uh, you know, our core. Which I'm happy about. That makes us a more expensive raid. We have some uh, scrap farming to do still, and I'm going to lose my mind because I cannot get past this thing. I can't get past it. There we go. Very nice, very nice, very nice. All the foundations. How much high quality do we have left? 49. That should be able to upkeep. We, we still have 100 in here, so I'm going to go ahead and just spend some more. Uh... Nice, 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 nice. Hell yeah, man. I've made it uh, so much farther than I thought I would. I uh, expected it to be a little bit more hardcore. About to call it a night. Had to at least an hour left for upkeep. <laughs> Denzel says you should save some high qual for guns. I should. Uh, there is more. Have no fear. There is more. I know, B Sings. I know. One day in here. One day, man, one day. Okay. This uh, garage door is probably the uh, most favorite thing I've earned. <laughs> I can't fucking believe that we have one. I'm going to get that down right now. I'm literally, I'm, I'm, I'm going to learn it and craft as many as I can. I think I can make four, which I think is all I fucking need. Yes, I can. Thank you. We still have 310 scrap. 
Metal frags. This is going to take probably a thousand metal frags. So that's cool. Craft. Oh shit, dude. We need a tier two. Fuck, man. Fuck, 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 fuck. I mean, shit, dude. We're probably just stuck on here for the rest of the night, huh? Like, probably. Let me sort out. I really want comps all in one box now, okay? Fuck a bucket. Comp, 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 comp. Now I'm out of space. Clothing and prim shit up here in tools, okay? That's what we'll do. Clothing, prim shit, tools. Comp, 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 comp. All this shit can go, dude. I don't, I don't need that. I almost threw my fucking gears out, though. Clothes. Put this box back down. I love the extra space in the boxes, man. Only a bit more scrap for tier two. I know, and scrap's easy to get where we're at. Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna have to do it. And also, I have a Tommy I need to learn. I'd, I'd like to. I just don't think I have the time to do it. You know, I don't think I have the time to do it. Maybe use a secondary as a furnace base. I, I, th I agree. I think I'm gonna keep that base for sure. I agree with you, dear friend. Ammo box here, okay. Comp box. This is a comp. This is clothing and tools. This is clothing. This is this is prim shit. This is prim shit. All these comps right here. Jesus, dude. <laughs> What a day, man. What a day. Prim shit, prim shit, tools, prim shit, clothing, prim shit, tools, trash, ammo, comp, 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 comp. Ammo, prim shit and tools, all that cooked, all that's cooked, all that's cooked. I mean, why is that not burning, you know? Uh, Drake Future says, do you know my friend AS25000? He is in one of your videos. Yeah, dude, I know him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like AS25000. He's a he's a cool kid. I like him. I like him. He's dope. <laughs> Dude, there's more comps in here, you know. I got shit everywhere. And it's okay. It's all right. We have not been organizing, you know. I can keep some hazies back here, you know. I can keep some hazies back here. Our toolbox is <laughs> full. Okay, our tool slash prim box, which we can probably make this. Dude, there's so much space in here now. Drake says he's my cousin. Okay, cool. Yeah, AS is in uh, two of my videos, actually. He's in a short, and he is in a... He's in a regular-ass video. Oh, dude, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Lakshay, welcome, dude. Thanks for subscribing, but you literally just scared the fucking shit out of me. Can you not? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Thank you for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Welcome to the fucking channel.
Okay, one day, 18 hours. Oh my god, dude. Look at all this fucking fruit, dude. Honestly, though, uh, this base will be my satellite base because uh, I can use it for if I'm getting raided and shit. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep some spare tools, I guess, back here. And I'm, I'm good with keeping some gear sets, you know? I am all good with that. I need to finish that one external over there. I need to go find more stone, man. Denzel says, so what's your PC specs for streaming? I, uh, actually, dude, I got a pre-built. I got a pre-built. I got a GeForce 3060. I got, uh, I got 16 gigabytes of RAM, which I want to upgrade to 32. I got a Ryzen 7. And, uh, like I said, I think I'm, I think I already said my graphics card. It's a GTX 3060. Maybe cook the crude and try to find oil. I already know where oil is. I already found oil. I can actually show you. Um, if we head that way. You know what? Let's head that way. I'll show you guys where oil is. Um, I spawned right next to oil, so I've made it a goal to kind of live next, next to it, you know? Um, I don't have Tier 2. I don't have any of that learned yet. And I could go grind this, dude, but I, there's no safe place to grind. And I'm solo, you know? Fuck. I'm, uh... I'm gonna take over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some to grind right now, okay? That's what we'll do. Not a whole bunch. This tech trash, dude. <laughs> this tech trash, this row right here... Will, uh... Will get me enough to get tier 2. A hundred percent. Servers restarting soon. Which is not ideal. It is also getting late. It's getting nighttime outside, which sucks. Again, tis okay. Tis just fine. <laughs> I'm going to bring some flares for a distraction. I don't need the loot goggles. I don't need the repair bench. I don't need the Gary's Mod tool or the satchel. Um, I really don't need that tarp either. I'll put that back in the, uh, whatchamacallit, <laughs> the comp box. And we are just overflowing in crude, man. Hardcore, smartcore. Uh, I need my crossbow, by the way. Where is my crossbow? Where's my grassy? Prim box? Not in the prim box. Where the fuck is my grassy, man? Wait. I'm losing it, dude. I'm losing it. It's nowhere to be found. It's gone. It's gone. Yep. Nowhere. Is it okay if you say hi to him? Hi, hi to AS25000? You can try uh, Lighthouse or Satellite. We're, we are going to Satellite right now. We're going to go to uh, Satellite to grind. And actually, since we are going there, I know I left a crossbow here. Since we are going there, I'll bring a green card and fuse too. Okay. It, it's just, it's going to be nighttime, so it's going to kind of suck. We don't have flashlights or anything. But that's okay. The flares are for distraction. And the rest is for fun. Let's do this shit. Actually, I gotta... <laughs> let me go shut my doors really fast. There we go. Yeah, dude, you know what? I should, I should have a torch, huh? It's okay, because I'm not gonna be lighting up anyway. I shouldn't need a torch for anything. Look at the fucking skyline right now, dog. 
Look how beautiful that is. And there's our satellite dish over there, okay? Rise, give a shout out to AES25000. Uh, yeah, hi AES25000, hi my friend. <laughs> what up, dude? Where is he? Why can't he say hello? I could craft one. Yeah, I could. I just don't need to. Like, I'm not going to have my torch out. I'm going to be, uh, you know, either aiming with my crossbow or my revy. Denzel says, I got two PCs almost identical. Different motherboards, but both GT, uh, GeForce RTX 3880s. 32 gigabytes of RAM, i5, A9500A. Okay. Nice. Good graphics card. Um, R Rust. Rust, however, is very uh, CPU uh, heavy. It's very CPU dependent. So that's why I got the 7. I used to play on a 5, and it was just a little bit skippy. Not too bad, though. torch right there oh shit we got fireworks going off hell yeah okay well we just broke our fucking legs that's fucking dope actually bad If I had a torch, that probably wouldn't have happened, huh? <laughs> I don't know why the lighting keeps changing so drastically either, by the way. It's changing very, very drastically. Yeah, look at that. I come up here and it changes like that. It's so weird. Why is it changing so drastically like that? Okay, well... Problem is, the torch might have been the play. <laughs> they keep taking fall damage and shit, which is kind of irritating. Again, we're like running around in the darkness, it's crazy. I kind of know where I'm going, though. Kind of. I might take more fall damage here. Because I can't see the um, the actual drop downs, you know? <laughs> yeah, see, like, right there. I'm lost, dude. I'm lost. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm lost. I can't. I don't know where I'm at. God, that screen's so bright. <laughs> There's the fucking room. crate right here or something. I just saw it. I just saw it. There it is. Nice new hazzy. There's the green card swipe right there. I'm trying not to fall and take damage, but I did anyway. Nice, man. And then, uh, 
Loot key card, dude. Let's fucking go. I still gotta grind. There's a fucking train coming, so. Great. And they're gonna be coming here, you know. super confident with staying here with the blue card that I've been trying for all day. Especially after hearing the train. YOLO, I guess. I'm gonna hide right here, dude. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just saw someone run. Get me the fuck out of here, dude. Get me the fuck out of here. Jesus. Watch for bears, no shit. I'm always listening for animals now, man. Like, that's for damn fact. I see an airdrop coming down in the distance. something on the ground, man. I need some help. God, nighttime sucks, dude. I can't. I can't heal myself. I need that I need that bandage for bleeding in case I do get shot, right? That's so beautiful. I mean, God, it 
such a beautiful thing. Tier 2 workbench on the way. Wow. I mean, I've played for six hours and a half. I, I, I'm very, very happy with the progress. The raid was the right call. As my raids usually are. I hate to toot my own horn, but... Usually when I raid, dude, they're they're not horse shit. Sometimes, sometimes, but I do usually call decent raids. And I figured that this guy would uh, be pretty decent for the sheer fact that... Uh, for the sheer fact that uh, they had code locks. <laughs> they would have way more progress, you know. Tier 2 and blue card, good run. Let's fucking go, Denzel. I agree, man. I agree. Let's fucking go, man. And more high qual. You know? And more high qual. Nice. We're, of course, going to make the box that we need to fit underneath it. And, uh... We now have two, two tier one workbenches, which is dope. I do need to upgrade this uh, wall over here. By wall, I mean ceiling. And we have a full high qual fucking uh, bolt, pretty much, man. And that's something to be proud of, you know? That's, <laughs> that's something to be proud of. Besides this one wall, which gets them nowhere. <laughs> we got it, you know, we got it. Um, metal frags are going to be a little bit of an issue at the moment. But that's fine. I'll, I'll stay on the amount of time it takes to, uh, you know, let that burn. There should be more here, right? Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, garage door going deep then we're gonna do that and sunshine valley and that's all we need dude we just need the three one two three I am gonna have to move this furnace right here no big deal Nice. Denzel says, um, Jack, hang on. Let me read Jack first. Jack came up first. Hang on. Jack said, we didn't doubt you, but you always doubt yourself when, you, uh, when you're when you in the dark. You always forget that if you can't see much, then neither can the other player. Jack, but people cheat. People cheat on this game. And I always get fucked in the dark. <laughs> I always get absolutely fucked in the dark, dude. So, uh, thank you. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> Denzel says, uh, yeah, you can throw tier ones to block doorways during raids if you keep them the area clear for them. Oh, nice. Yeah. Lee says, in the dark, you don't, uh, <laughs> you get mauled by animals. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck animals, Lee. I hate animals. <laughs> Very nice, dude. Very nice. Uh, some people can still boost gamma, I think, with AMD cards. Or they use ESP, which ruins the game, really makes it night difficult. I know, man. I, I just always get screwed at night. I really, really do. That's why I have, like, this little, like, PTSD about it, you know? Every time I'm, I'm out at night, I know people can't see me, too, <laughs> but 
sometimes they just can and I you know it's just unexplainable you know sometimes they just can see you you know <laughs> place this back down nice and uh, how are we looking we need stone like we gotta go get stone <laughs> it has to happen we don't have a choice we need to go get it I'm gonna save these doors I might build another airlock and, uh, oh, guys, I'm tired. I need to get off here. I worked a full 10-hour shift and then started streaming immediately after. So, it is almost... It is almost that time for me, guys. It is almost that time we're going to do our final farm run. And then I will be heading off for the night as I work in three hours. So... I need to get a little bit of sleep. A little bit of sleep. Not too much. Just a little bit. Baby, come on. That metal's burning. Perfect. We got 20 more high qual here. Fuck, dude. We need a, we, This needs to burn. We don't have enough high qual to upkeep for 24 hours. I don't, I don't like that. I use too much. Yeah, I used too much, dude. <laughs> All right, let's go get this. Uh, let's go get the stone. I'm trying to see if there's any like close. Man, this base wasn't ours when we moved in. You know, it's just a beautiful thing. Denzel says, damn, <laughs> been there, done that. Hope you got G Fuel or coffee for later. Oh, yeah, dude. Luckily, I work in the restaurant business. So, uh, oh, yeah, we got coffee. <laughs> That's for sure. We got coffee. And uh, there's a stone node. It's a good sign. We're going down in the fucking mines for this now, you know. But I don't really see much more stone. I just see that one. Which I'll take it, you know. Here's one. Denzel says, I have had some friends on two days straight playing Rust. It's madness. That is madness, dude. Uh... I'm planning on doing either a 24 or 48 hour stream uh, for 2K uh, viewers. So we'll see how it'll go. It won't be straight. It, like it won't be straight. I'll take a nap, but the stream will still continue. You know, <laughs> not sure how I'll do it. I'm not going any deeper than that, honestly. I'm just gonna go get this other stone node and go bank it. Okay. <laughs> These are hard to come by, and we only got 360 seconds till the server restarts. I'm trying to get it done before that, you know. Bailey says, what is hardcore mode? Basically, dude, basically, there's no map. There's no team uh, user interface, okay? So you don't know who's on your team. Um, there's no map, there's no compass. There's no way of telling where you are. And uh, you can only have five bags to respawn on. Only five, no more than five. And um, what else? What else about hardcore mode? A mine sat oil near you. Dude, bro, Denzel, let me take you over. Like, we got, okay, past sat, by the way. Later, Drake, man. See you later. Dude, Denzel, past satellite is a green card, okay? Over there is train yard. And then if you go past train yard, oil render renders in. So oil's literally, like, right over there, okay? And that's not even the best part about my area, man. The best part... I have a hammer, yeah. 
best part is that I have access to train tunnels and fucking military right here. And a river. So I have water and constant food. Okay, water and constant food. I live on a hill, so I know where I always live, right? You know? <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful fucking thing. I love it, man. I just love it. I, uh... I need to finish that honeycomb. I didn't realize I had a huge hole. Yeah, dude, it's amazing. It's such a good spot. It's such a good spot, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm so I'm so happy with this fucking wipe so far, man. Hopefully I don't get raided. I would like to continue. Um I would like to continue this adventure. Assuming I don't get raided, I will definitely be on streaming tomorrow. As we continue this hardcore. Hardcore mode. I thought I started burning that, but I guess not. Okay. Yeah, man, because look, Denzel, I'll show you this. <laughs> There's military right there, too. Abandoned military. And, uh... There's train tunnels entrance right there, dude. <laughs> it's just wild. I live in such a great area. Oh, and fishing village. Fishing village is, uh, obviously it's not a safe zone, but we have access to boats. So, that is a big deal. You can't see it, it's not rendered in, but it's over there on the coast. So, it's, it's pretty dope, man. It's pretty dope. <laughs> Little jackpot on the spot, yeah, man. Well, guys, I think that's going to be it for the stream. Uh, it's been an exciting day. It's been a nice start. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to wait for restart, and uh, I'll set down my, you know, final TCs and whatnot. And, um, you know, make sure all the high quals burned and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you. It's been a great stream, dude. Thanks for hanging with me. Denzel, Drake, Bailey. Jack P, Mr. Fruit. <laughs> Who else we got in here? Who else we got in here? Hey, I want to say bye to everyone. But unfortunately, I'm bad with names. <laughs> Denzel says, all right, good luck with your future streams. Keep it up. Keep at it, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right, Jack. I'll see you later, brother. Jack's getting in one last gamble. <laughs> Yep. Again, if you guys haven't already, please make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out. It helps bring more people to the streams and uh, hopefully get us some, uh, you know, more views. You know, help us get more views. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you tonight for the next installment of Rust Hardcore Mode. Good night, guys. See you later. And don't die. <laughs>